Welcome to Trash Talk. I'm Wayne. And I'm Chase. And I'm Dan. And Dan's back in the studio. What's up, everybody? And you're Dan. Or just Dan. Just Dan. Dan. Just Dan. Just the serial killer Dan. He's back. <laughs> Did you know? We really do need to not announce that. <laughs> well, I didn't tell you what the name of the last podcast was. Lame of the name. It was uh, Dan the... Uh, Non serial killer talks about serial killing and how he would plan a murder or something. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I mean, there's things you would do. Yeah. <laughs> might take the battery out of your phone because you still have a flip phone, so you can get away with that shit. Yeah, you might just want to get rid of the phone, though, just to be safe. No, no, you just take the battery out at your house or leave the phone there, put your, like, PlayStation on, and then, like, it keeps going through games and, like, oh, yeah, I was just at home playing all night. Yeah, like, that's I wasn't true. There. And yours isn't connected to the internet, so they can't really check. Exactly. And then someone smashes it, they go check their hard drive. It, yeah. was, like, it was just running. Yeah. Phone was there. I wasn't leaving my apartment. Whatever. Mm. All right. Well, I'm not going to ask you what you Why were doing. Why do I always get creeped out when Dan's here? I really don't do that many exciting things. Why do you have blood on your shoes, Dan? That's not blood, <laughs> it's ketchup. That's what you tell people. It's ketchup. It's I work in a kitchen. Up. Whatever. <laughs> but you don't. Shut up. I did. <laughs> All right. I'm not here to squeal on you. So what's going on, Omaha? What's going on? What's going on? You like that? I hear music. I don't hear anything. I see a little fly flying around here. You hear in the fridge humming? No, no. I thought I heard I, something. I thought I heard something for a split second too. Honestly. You know what? Maybe. So. Maybe. Yeah. Is it gone? Maybe. I, it doesn't sound <laughs> like there's anything going on now. All right. Well, let's disregard that. Audience, don't pay attention to that. We're still live. We're still doing this. We're not live. Okay. So I was thinking about something today. I'm always thinking of weird shit. What do you got to say, Chase? Um, let me see here. I was thinking about women, as usual, right? Yeah. Go on. Yeah. What okay. man doesn't? Well, <clears throat> have you ever had a woman that kind of stinks? Oh. Down there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the stinky pinky. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so I was thinking, when their ass smells better than their vagina, just walk away. Do you lick it? Oh. No. <laughs> no, you don't. No, the asshole then, instead. I don't know. I, I mean, wouldn't trust you. Do you write that or, down? What do you do? You that's, definitely wrote that down. That's, 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 checking his notes. That's the quote of the day. Right now. Because I, I would have forgot it. Chase Grape. Can that be the name of the podcast? Sure. Why not? Say it again. When, you, <laughs> when a woman's ass smells better than their vagina, just walk away. <laughs> you hear me, everybody? Just walk away. That's so lady folks. What it comes down to is like douche a little or something. I don't know. True, or or look her ass. Whatever, true, true wisdom. Whatever you're into. True wisdom right there. So. so, tell us about your most recent encounter with that, Chase. No, I, I, I don't even know why I was thinking about that today. <laughs> I mean, well, that does come up randomly. I was thinking of ass. <laughs> in, Clearly. In vagina. But that's yeah. happened before, and you're like, oh, I should have just walked away. Um, I've had some <laughs> bad experiences. I'm not gonna, so, that's the question. I'm did, not going to say any names because I forgot their names. Did you walk away? Or did you? Well, he it's just didn't tonight. walk away. Just tonight. He didn't walk away. I think away, I just moved my head up. And, and then put, use the hand. Use my other head. Yeah, so that's not walking away. <clears throat> I just got my nose out of that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, good answer. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? <laughs> Can't argue. With it that. would be rude to leave at that point. I'm, I'm shit. It was probably a drunk night. You know, whatever. Everybody wants sex. Yeah, sometimes so, you think your your dick ever stinks? No, never. <laughs> no, no stink dick. <laughs> your voice was all no, 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 no. never. Does yeah. it? Has it stunk ever? Jimmy? No, I've never noticed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I don't know. Let us know. Send us an email if you've ever had some stank. Oh shit, like, dude. Ladies, what? if you've encountered a stink dick too, let us know. Yeah. That's what I'm well, really I mean, talking like, about. Yeah, I've never heard of a stank dick. You never heard of a stank dick? Well, I mean, I guarantee. Okay, so that's the thing. When you didn't walk away, when you finished that night, oh you know, yeah, then you had stank dick. But I mean, I showered right away morning, probably, or the, the next, next morning. Day, yeah. 
But I mean, no, because sometimes I mean, you might I mean, go out to breakfast or. I mean, a woman meeting a guy, a woman meeting a guy at a bar, and she takes him home and goes down on him, and his di- his dick stinks like fucking broccoli or something. <laughs> Does that broccoli. happen? Does that happen? I don't know about broccoli, yeah, but maybe, like okay. maybe, maybe some from under cheese, cheese or something. Maybe asparagus. Broccoli cheese asparagus. soup. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe she's like, ooh, broccoli cheese soup. I love that shit. Just depends on what they're uh, cooking down there, I guess, really. And what you're cooking down there. Well. Did you have some broccoli cheese Give soup us a call or shoot us an email, women. <laughs> Let us know. So we need to start doing this stuff weekly so people can just, like, call in. Like, people know sometimes, like, oh, I thought you guys went live on Thursdays, but now it's Tuesday and we're doing this. Well, yeah, well once we go live on the Twitch, then they, they will be able to call you us. You do want a live Twitch. Do yes. You? Okay. Why not? That's okay. what, that's uh, why people can call us and fucking actually talk to us on the side there. Yeah, they can't call us, but they can talk. They could call my call us, personally. Yeah, okay. for sure. I want to yeah. get, get live on YouTube as well, and then we can start, like, talking to random people on the interwebs that could be really fun or that could go real weird real fast i thought about i was like well, what yeah if, there's what a if, lot of weird fucking what yeah. if i have all this stuff set up and then we just go live on like a uh, video roulette hmm. video roulette that would probably get a lot of people masturbating on your screen for sure but it would also <laughs> you could just count how many there are like ah i think i think we should do that tally point, number seven though. that would be a good podcast just to just video roulette for but that could a be pretty hours. fun. That could be entertaining. Yeah, who knows who could talk to, get the message out there. Random people. Is that what people do on that? Masturbate. Yeah, there's, there's... essentially. But there's also other just random people do it. I don't know if it's as popular as it used to be. Masturbating. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, in front of a camera. <laughs> Probably exactly. still pretty popular. Exactly. I think most people. I mean, what do you do after you murder someone, right? Yeah, I just feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw it in there. Oh, I'm damn. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Oh damn. On, on point. You have to stay on point. Yeah. I mean, like, what else? You've already yeah. categorized me as that, so we'll, we'll play that game. Murder Dan. Murderer Dan. Or what's Dan. his? What should we call him? Dan the Killer. Dan the Killer. Killer, killer Dan. No, killer Dan. Killer Dan. <laughs> All right. Killer He's Dan. Killer. Anyways. Daniel! <laughs> the killer. Can I have a beer? You guys ever seen a movie called Itchy the Killer? Hey, is that why... Nope. The oh, man. Copycat's live right now yeah, on Twitch. I <laughs> Who is Copycat? <laughs> I think she's an ASMR one. Oh, I have Budweiser's in there, please. Uh, oh, she ASMR did, like she that. Does, da, 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 da. Yeah. We watched a couple of them. We were trying to get in on some uh, live chatting, too. Some nice people. Some weirdos. Shit. Oh, I tried to put. Um, is this AMSR? Yeah, Dan, it is. Please stop. <clears throat> I'm not trying that right now. We gotta be. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> we have to be live for that. Uh, well, I, I, we're live right now. Well, no, we're not live. Okay, if anybody's but, into AMSR, call us because we are. Call too. us because we want to know how it makes you feel. <laughs> it just makes me kind of tired just sitting there watching it. Yeah. You know. So have, so that's the question. Have you gone home and watched it to fall asleep at all? No. Well, I just go home and go to bed. We have a Twitch account. Because I'm so, so tired from watching it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never watched it, to be honest. I'm kind of just always able to go to bed. This one girl was putting lotion on when we started watching. Yes. And then, um... <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it looked like? Yeah, she was putting it He's everywhere. Like, and we were like... Yeah. Oh, oh my god, I'm getting so tired. Immediately, my tingles are happening. <laughs> I wanted to comment, it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but I had to wait like three minutes before you could do that. Did she get in trouble for saying something? Though? Yeah, they, they uh, deleted it and blocked me out right away. And then, But I, immediately I was also like, hi, first time here or whatever. Killer Dan, that would be him at AMSR. <laughs> AMSR, and don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Well, way to go. I don't need nothing. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know if that works for you guys, you can, but... I, you can see it a little bit. Eh, yeah. I mean, it's some, it's some noise. That's gross. Because don't I, leave a knife in front of me and expect ooh, me not to do something work knife. with it. Yeah, you can take that it's, back. It's uh, got a lot of tape probably on it. Yeah, there was some stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so other subjects. Chase, what uh, do you got Have you guys heard about the... The meth gators? Yes! <laughs> Holy fuck yes! I Let's almost go. just assumed you would bring this up. Oh What's going God. on with that? They're like just it's eating... It's a joke. It was a joke. 
What the, do you mean it's a joke? The police office came out and admitted, we're like, we were just trying to get some Twitter fucking Bullshit. I thought people were, like, flushing their shit down they were the trying, toilet. They were trying to stop people from flushing their shit. Yeah, because they want to catch them. Joke, yeah, and just jokingly said. Well, it's also, like, in their pipes or fucking dumb yeah. shit. But, yeah. But who wants meth gators? Nobody like wants meth gators. I'd like to see one. I mean, it would be probably pretty entertaining. I mean, you've seen people, like, digging around, like, in a bush, telling, like, people they're trying to find the radiator. Imagine, like, a fucking reptile just... Freaking out. Fuck. Yeah. You probably yeah. wouldn't be able to kill the thing. No, it'd probably kill everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard there's... Uh, well, I guess it's not true now, but... What? Ducks and geese are high on meth, too. Oh, my God. Geese are mean. Geese, Geese are, are mean. Super mean. Yeah. So. I mean, we could probably get, make this experiment work. I know some people that probably have meth, and we could go give it to geese. I think they have to smoke it. But you could make him eat it or something. I don't know. Or smoke. Well, Dan can blow it in like, their fucking you nose. You could like trap them in a little yeah. tent and hotbox them in there with some bunch of meth. Uh, we could try. Me and Trey just sit back it. and watch though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the cops come, it's a science experiment. I'm filming it. It's a don't science worry. experiment. Yeah. I heard they found, sure. like, a gator in Chicago. Some Chicago park. You know? That was high, right? I could see that. What? He's all high, tripping out. No, it was just, it's like, a, fucking gator. a gator trying... living in Chicago. Or, oh, like, what? somebody had a pet gator, and they're like, ah, oh, goddamn, this is a stupid idea. Why did I have a pet gator? I'm going to go put it in this lake. I think it was, like, five feet. It's fairly large. I thought they found the, ga- the gator with sunglasses on, and he was trying to buy fucking Beer. ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream. Iron fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that makes they, the most sense. They found course. a bunch of fucking meth in his pockets. That's what happened. He's wearing blue jeans. Yeah, well, in his uh, gator skin cowboy boots. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, he's like, this is my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he'd be wearing, like, human skin gator or human skin boots, though? <laughs> like, he's a gator, uh, right? Maybe. Human yeah. skin boots? Or would it just be regular boots, then? Chubbs. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Chubbs' boots. Off of Chubbs? Happy yeah, Gilmore. Yeah. Oh, God. It's Remember just that hand. gator he that got your hand? <laughs> it's just a hand. Oh, I got his yeah. head. Came up again. One eye. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's not as good as Hook, though. Oh. Uh, fucking. Falls Captain on him. Hook gets swallowed into the. Where'd he go? He's gone. The cartoon or the... No, the movie. Oh, Hook with, with Robin clock? Williams. Yeah. Hook's gone. I don't remember Rufio! the name. Rufio! Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the best shit in there. Yeah, Rufio is the shit. Yeah, that was a good one. Didn't Rufio die? I think he did overdose. Yeah, he got stabbed. He got stabbed, yeah. No, he didn't. He got stabbed. Yes, he did. Hook stabbed him because he was like trying to fight <laughs> Hook. <laughs> That's how he died. I thought we were talking about the, mo- or, like, the actor. Oh, I don't know about yeah, the yeah, actor. He totally dies in the movie, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he got stabbed. Yeah. Do you remember which little lost boy took over the mantle? Uh, no. Robin Williams' yeah, he had, he son gave the, that played he baseball. Gave, no, he had to give the sword to one of the lost boys before he left Neverland. It's the fat boy, the fat <laughs> black kid. <laughs> yeah, the uh, foul. yeah, that's right. <laughs> what was his name? Chubbs uh, or something? Chubbs, yeah. <laughs> God, what was that kid? And he was just like, the little one's like, who will I look after? The little one's. Never bugs. <laughs> Man, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. Oh, I fucking loved Hook. Making that food fight with no food. Yeah. And it ends up... It's classic. Anyways, we're getting off track. Yeah. Yeah. So, Omaha, obviously we have fun. Oh, I, I, I read a news story this morning. Yeah, go ahead. There was the fucking mayor, excuse me, mayor, or mayor, the yeah. beloved, beloved mayor, Gene, Gene Stoddard. St- 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 yeah, Stadler. I was told by my dad a while ago not to... I can't call Pete Ricketts a fuckhead and anything like that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you can criticize, but don't like call him names. And I was like, I could see that. What, on the podcast? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Tell well, us. I mean, we can, I'm going to explain why he's a fuckhead, but I'm not going to call them fuckheads. Yeah, obviously okay? you can't call these fuckers fuckheads. Yeah. Uh, I mean, exactly. These. Exactly. So anyway. You just have to do with meth gators. Our, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, they're extorting me right now. <laughs> so. This meth gating motherfucker. That's why I'm changing the subject. <laughs> But uh, she asked the board, city board, or fucking Omaha, essentially, taxpayers to pay for $200 million for the roads. 
the plan to redo every single row. Oh, hooray! In Omaha. Isn't that a good idea? Well, I mean, she's to be already fair, had like fifty million every year. And yeah, she still can't. Do it. Our two hundred million do suck, but like Jesus, that's they're not going to fix the roads. Only if you're they're, building like the autobahn. Yeah, they're just not. I don't know. They're not going to do anything with it. She's going to pocket some of that money. They need something a little that's, better yeah. than guys with shovels scooping fucking asphalt, asphalt and yeah. covering them up. They need like a whole fucking truck that just lays over the whole fucking road and every, covers every, everything. Every road should get milled. And, you know, yeah. Also, not, not asphalt. If they pavement. are working on a road, maybe like finish one road at a time so everyone's like, okay, Pacific Street is going to suck forever. So we're just going to start using the other ones versus like, all right. So from like 32nd to 50, whatever, if you can't use this street. So you have to like take a left turn. Fucking go down to Center Street from 52nd to, like, you know, 54th. Go back north, back to Pacific Street, because all of a sudden it's fine again. I'm already lost. Dude, yeah, no, look, I drive a truck around Omaha to, like, go to people's houses and fix shit, you know? Yeah. And murder people. No, construction (laughs) Construction is so random. It's fucking awful. It's like, dude, just focus on one spot, get it done. Yeah, exactly. Just Just close the whole road off, fuck those businesses, close for a week, fucking remodel, do what you gotta do. Work overnight. People would love overtime. Yeah, and I'm not exactly. driving around for very long. So when I was in the mountains, they were like um, constructing the roads through the mountains, but uh, they were doing it at like six a.m. And people, my dad was complaining about it, but I was just like, you know what? They also have second shift and third shifts here. Like, did you not see those lights on their fucking trucks and shit? Like, they got that shit done. Yeah, like roads through the mountains, like fixed, fucking brand new asphalt and shit. The only road no crews deal. you ever see is on the interstate. No, I see it like no, at night. Everywhere, at man. night, I mean. Oh, at, at, night. Night. Okay, at, at night. Yeah, at for night. sure. Yeah, they don't work on. Um, I'm say, I'm pretty sure 132nd sure. and center has been being worked on for like four fucking months, and it's still like it's just the same <laughs> shit that's been going on there. To me, it seems like the interstate 680 and like the LQ center that area they've been working on that ever since it was built. Yeah. It's always construction, mm-hmm. always lane changes mm-hmm. and shit. I mean, so, it's progress. progress. I don't know. No, I think there's a lot of people on the board that were like, you know what? We need actual better transit public systems and like <clears throat> maybe a fucking monorail. <gasps> no. No, they didn't you say that. Fucking That's call me. what I'm thinking. You I know, exactly. call me. No one mentioned the old streetcars in Dundee, electric streetcars. Nope, that that's they tore out. shit. You fucking probably are a socialist commie. Yeah. Something. We talked that. We talked about that a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, that we was did. one of the first yeah. podcasts. But that's why we have to keep bringing it up. Keep reminding people. That's one of our things, man. So where should they build it from? They should build an electric to... trolley system everywhere in Omaha, man. You start with downtown. All the way out west. To midtown Blackstone. Yeah, just fucking keep going, well, yeah, man. Go to Millard. Go to Elkhorn. Start it downtown to Elkhorn. An electric trolley. And then we can go out to West Omaha and party like those fuckers who come and, down this area and party. Yeah. yeah, and then they'll just be like scooters. As soon as you get off the trolley, you can just scoot wherever you is, need is, to is then. Is what the future's going to be? Just a bunch of scoots? Yeah, man. Sco- scoot, scooting scoot, around? Scooting and electric trolleys around. I can't No scoot. need for your gas-powered vehicle. I mean, there's there's certain benefits, but like... It's going to get cold, and then there's going to be snow. Where do the scooters go oh, during the snow? shit. I never even thought about that, man. They put little chains on the tires, I think. Yeah. Uh, that <laughs> would be some interesting stuff. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> it goes over. They put little skis on skis, the fucking... Skis on the you know, front wheel. So you just... You're, you're, and, like, a paddle on the back You're one. gliding over the snow. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, I might be. be tempted to actually start playing around with that shit because it would probably be faster than driving. But anyways... Yeah. Just a little snow well, yeah, Where do the scoots go? I would have got out of your fucking parking lot a lot quicker if I would have drove yeah, that over scooter. last year. <laughs> so what happens yeah. if you, like, you knock someone off their scoot and drive it for a little while until they, like, push their button like, I'm not on the scoot anymore. You get away. Yeah? Those, yeah. That sounds like a pretty fun game. <laughs> I like stealing scoots. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Probably until the distance of their phone fucking goes well, away. So you have to knock them off their scooter and take their phone. About ten feet, maybe. Even if well, that's like a robbery. Even then. if their phone is locked, 
Well, you can't. You like, still be fine. You, you still can have scoot the all the way across yeah. to Omaha. Like fuck it. Exactly. I'm gonna go in circles in this parking lot and like charge your scooter well, shit for a while. Yeah, I don't know. So I think a lot of people scoot with people. How many times do you see single scooters? Uh, it doesn't really matter. A scoot chase sounds awesome. <laughs> that actually sounds like it's more fun in the game. You'd get caught. <laughs> Maybe, yes. but like it'd still be really fun. Unless there's like a all of a sudden a Segway cop comes out. Yeah. <laughs> And then we could do something Drone like, you know, like Paul Br- Br- Blatt on a Paul segue. Blatt. Paul Blart. Blart. I'm Blart. gonna have to yeah. ramp off something to get away, like the Dukes of Hazard. Obviously, that's what you do with scooters, right? Yeah, definitely. You go to hide down into the Dodge door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's or like go through the mall on it, like you know. Ah! So should we talk about our experience we had on I Sunday? I want to hear about the experience. What are we talking about the. Fancy bar we oh, went to. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Farnham House. Farnham Brewing House Company or whatever. Oh, oh I right. think I have. Let me talk, let's see your experience. Is that the one that's right next to like, the Blue Moon yep. and all that? Crescent Moon. Crescent Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between Beertopia. I did not have a bad experience. Mm. I went in, I drank some beers, and I had an appetizer, and it was pretty fun because it was a bunch of people, and yeah, it was a good night. All right. But, I mean, I didn't really care that much yeah i was focused on you drinking the beer yeah, yeah i was there for the drinking people. the beer and like the like other people that were there yeah. i wasn't like oh my god feed me it's more just like oh you got something i can snack on cool yeah did they miss your mess your bill up at all no did they did the cook come out and try to offer you a shot and then he said he'd pay for it no. did he didn't no? no that didn't happen oh, to me okay. that happened to us oh well but did you get a free shot no, still had to pay for our shots. Even. He came out and bought. He saw us do a Karsh eye bomb. Six Karsh eye bomb. Karsh <laughs> Irish I car bomb. bomb? Yep. Irish car bomb. No, that's what I said earlier. Karsh eye bomb. <laughs> I'd like to get a Karsh eye bomb. Could you just ram a car right into my eye? <laughs> that's what I wanted. That to happen to that guy. After that happened, for sure. So he saw us have an Irish car bomb. <laughs> And I, I had to think about it really hard to say it. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know, some time went by and he just came out and was like, I didn't even know we had those here. But we do, you were guys, with, do you guys want to do another round? And we were, were like, two other girls. Yeah, we'll do another round with you, you know? So him, the cook, or dishwasher probably, really, and the bartender and these other two ladies we were with, Chase and I, six car bombs. Okay. Got put onto these girls' tabs. Oh, did you know the girls? No, we met them that night. Oh, oh they walked up and said, "You guys want a shot with us?" Yeah, yeah. Get so free they, drinks then. They bought the first ones. Yeah. And then I mean, uh, did you pay it back? Like, did you? Yeah, there were drinks exchanged for sure. Oh, we I were didn't all mean buying that drinks. Way. Chase bought me drinks. Everyone. Yeah, if a girl wait, buys you a I shot, did? you gotta like, you know, like. Oh, so what do you want me to do for it? <laughs> yeah. And then just no, it. Dan, it wasn't that way. We were, <laughs> we were just there at the bar. No, we didn't go not down. munching on things. Well, you did it wrong then. Well, you were probably right. But anyway. So anyways, they paid for a shit ton of drinks that they were like, wait No, a they didn't pay for them because we were like, hey, he told us we weren't, he was going to buy these. And he was like, well, I asked him and he said he didn't say that. And we're like, well, there's <clears throat> fucking four of us right here that said he did say that. Yeah. I mean, he didn't specifically say, Maybe I will buy you just a said, shot. Do you guys want to do one? Do you guys want to do another round? And you guys assumed round? that you're like, yeah, I'll do another round. Yeah, but, but he's not, wor- he's not working at the fucking bar. That's I, the thing. I, I didn't even know if that guy worked there or not. He had at, a, at first. He was like the cook or something. I, I think he was a dishwasher, man. He did not look like he could cook. He came out. He said, <laughs> would surprised. you guys? He said, did that look good? Or that look good? You guys want another round? Yeah. P- pretty much on him. He didn't say on me. He just said, do you guys want another round? Yeah, and but why would he ask that? He's a fucking cook. Exactly. Because he's trying to get you to spend more money at his place. But when someone I'm asks employed. you it's that, they, it's like implied that <clears throat> I'm buying you guys a shot. Unless they're like, you know, shitty people who are just trying to get you to pay for their drinks. Because that does happen. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of shitty people out there who are like, hey, you want to do another round? And then they drink your stuff and then they disappear and then you're stuck with the bill. And he took one too. Yeah. For sure. We've all, we all have that friend. And I think we all know who we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think we Let's do. not say his name, but he's like, hey, you guys, you guys want to do a shot? All well, right. I'll, I'll like, take a fireball. 
And then you're like, cool. And then you get the fireball in there. Like, Wait, where the fuck did you go, dude? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, sorry. Sorry, we do that shot. I'm out of here. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that person forever. What? Hey, dude. What's up? Remember how we used to take shots together? Yeah, remember I used to buy them? You used to buy them for me? All the time? <laughs> I'm a cook at Farnham House now. <laughs> It's pretty cool. My eyes are really close to my fucking nose. <laughs> That's very descriptive. <laughs> you look like so, that cartoon I don't know. character. I mean, you can go and make your own opinion of Farnham House. I, I had a good experience, but I didn't have somebody try to squeeze me out of I know drinks. It's, I know it's a fairly new bar. There's been other bars and other restaurants in that location that did not go well. Well, I went there with so, Mr. Cody Fox, and Cody Fox tends to have dude, a good time when he goes uh, out, so... I should have told you to have ask if Cody wants to come on. Oh, dude, I bet you could get him to come on. Dude, I'd love to have hey, Cody on. I'll text on. him right now. Yeah, do it. It's cause... his birthday, not this upcoming weekend, but the next one. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Do you know Cody? Yeah. No. I bet you... Hell pro- yeah, I know Cody. He's, Honestly, he's I bet cool you cat. probably have met him before, just like in passing somewhere, because Cody's all over the place. Um, but no, our, uh, remember when we had Ryan Hansen on? Wait, wait, Cody? Yeah. Oh, he's a fox, man. I know, he is. You know, surprisingly, <laughs> Cody is a fox. <laughs> or, <laughs> in, a, in an off, off-key kind of way. Dude gets it. <laughs> he does get it. He, he gets it. Just, uh, just watch the charisma. Any, the charisma is, like, just empowering. It would be off the charts in the room. Oh, yeah. Cody came in. Oh, yeah. Call him up. I just texted him. Do you want me to call him? No, we can't call with your phone. Remember, we tried. Uh, this I mean, once. I can. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I can give you a number. I try to get a gal over here to come podcast tonight. I could get a girl to come podcast. Wouldn't that be fun to get a walk-in guest sometime? Oh yeah. I mean, yes, I could, it would. Dude. I could definitely get a girl over here. <laughs> I'm sorry the listeners couldn't see that, yeah. <laughs> but Dan's just like dead serious. I can yeah. get a girl here. Yeah, let call, her, it, the, the, call her right now. Take, you want to take a break? We can take a break. We'll see if she All wants right. to come over. All However, right. like, it's probably better not to because I plan on killing her on some point. <laughs> so, this well, is a joke, people. These are jokes. Well, we won't let her listen to that first. Talk. <laughs> Trash talk. That's all about right. buttering him up first. Back. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Trash, Trash Talk, Talk Omaha. Omaha. No, no lady guest. No. Dan, Dan totally failed. I failed. Uh, there, she's still going to come over later, so I'm fine, but like, you guys are going to miss it. No, we don't want to see what's happening later. <laughs> no, no you don't. Fine. Well, let's see into the weird shit. <laughs> hmm? <In> he, exhibition. <laughs> he yeah. is. He is. Oh, you're an exhibitionist? Uh, <laughs> or voyeur. Just depends on how much I'm drinking. What about voyeurism? You want to just watch? I mean, no, 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 no. No, I'm not into Dan will allow that. Like, Dude, it's going to get weird. No, no, I'm cool. I'm going to go home, <laughs> play with my cat. Is that some sort of code? <laughs> yeah, I'd go over and Dan would be banging her. You guys do then he'd those. kill her. No. Then I'd be the oh, witness. Obviously, oh, so you're going to be the one getting blamed. <laughs> yeah. He'd be pinned on you. Dan would be like, hold the knife real quick. <laughs> and he'd take my arm and stab himself. I'm like, they're both dead. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I'd be injured. I'm still going to survive yeah. this. I want to keep he, going. He Life, came at me. He came at me, officer. It was a bad night. He's got to go to jail. All right. Well, it's on tape I'm now. I'm pretty sure so he found, like, what... four other ones, too. I don't <laughs> yeah, know how this worked. You can't, like, admit to it on the podcast. I didn't admit to shit. <laughs> All right. And fuck- I don't actually do this. This is just... Now you're going to prison. A persona? Question mark? It's what you pigeonholed me into, all right? Hey, you accepted it. You yeah, accepted I did. It was pretty it. fun. It, I mean, it comes apart naturally, you know? Hmm. You see, that's why I couldn't allow Ninja Dan, because you haven't really done any ninja things on the podcast, you know? You can't do those but things now, on the podcast. you're killer Dan. Oh, actually, fun fact, though. I ran into uh, one of the guys I used to train with, so we're starting up again, so that's cool. Oh, where? Parkour meetup. Do- oh, I thought you were talking about Dojo. No, we're just going to go into the park and like punch shit and throw things at trees and whatnot. You know, normal human stuff. Okay, but how are you going to do that? Your bag of weapons got stolen. With, like, other new ones? New weapons. Oh, speaking of throwing things, I went to the, uh... 20, yeah, like on 26th and yep. Leavenworth. Yep. That place is fucking sweet. You like it? Yeah, dude. 20 bucks, you get to throw for a while, but if you for show up early... Hour. For an hour. However, we showed up, and there was no one there, so the Axe guys were like, dude, we don't give a fuck. Keep throwing. Mm, nice. What's that, that place called? It's early. Uh, we were there at, like, 4, 15. Okay. So we threw axes for a while and got pretty drunk. Who's we? 
Uh, my buddy Todd and Brian. Or All right. Oh yeah. Okay. They, uh, What's it? What is it called? I actually have no idea. I really don't. Yeah. I just know it's the axe place that's like near, like attached to the same building conundrums in. Yeah, it's around near 20th and Leavenworth. It's 20, 26th. I think it's 26th. Is it the one you hear on the radio all the time? Probably. Well, apparently they're the only, only one that does not have a cutoff of your drinks. So you can get real there, fucking there's drunk. There's multiple? There's apparently three in Omaha, Holy and they shit. are the coolest one. Because they let you keep drinking until you just can't fucking drink. Bro. Yeah. No, until you can't drink. You can keep mm. trying to throw an anybody, axe. Anybody ever get da- uh, injured doing this there's shit? There's a, like, waiver you sign. I'm... Sure that you can be injured. Just yeah, I've down. seen I've seen video of someone throws it at it and it bounces back at them. Yeah, like, hits it right on the handle or yeah. whatever, or something. You know, and it'll well, it sounds like they're shitty axe throwers and that they deserve that. Yeah, there's probably three hours of, of throwing axes or something. You know, I guess if they're signing a waiver, then that's it's fine. Their yeah. Did you think it was far enough back? That was my first like. Well, this seems okay. like one spin. You it's know? one like, spin. It's one spin. But that's the thing. You can also throw slower when you're far th- or back. You know. Yeah. Like, it's it's not the same as like when you used to set up in a park and like throw the tomahawks and the other shit. Cause, yeah. Like you gotta have more fun. However, it was very uh, consistent of like this is where I step. This is where I throw. I'm gonna have control to control the environment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dan. You know that if you're throwing axes, it's not a controlled environment. When would you ever want to do that in a controlled environment? Like, I, I don't know. I normally prefer going into the park or somebody's backyard. I'm just like, talking about in like real life if you had to throw an axe. Yeah, no, in a real life situation, need, I would probably not be throwing the axe. I'd probably just wait around a corner and like, hit you with it. 500 years ago, you would be throwing axes. Yeah, fuck yes, I would. 500 years ago, who knows what kind of crazy shit. I'd, well, I'd probably be dead, let's be honest. There's like a lot of health issues and like distemper and bad water. And so like, you just get drunk all the time, though. Well, yeah, but it's still gonna die young. Yeah, you lived to about our age. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a goddamn old man. Yeah, we'd be old as shit. I Ooh, seen some yeah. shit. I threw axes. We should try to have a medieval podcast sometime. Well, you could go to the Renaissance Fair and like try to interview people. That'd be fun. Yeah, there's, there's some true. interesting folk there. I see them at Elmwood all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do the, you? Uh, having their battles. Yeah, and that's shit. the. Uh, Have you seen them? I think recently? that group is called, like, the Balarney of the Lonely Tower or some shit like that. Jesus. They're Lairs, right? They're LARPers. 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 Yes. I got their card at the Renaissance Fair just because I was like, yeah, I'll talk to you guys. Oh, like, yeah. We watched them battle in yeah. full metal. Whatever. Really? Like, real battle. Like, all right, come at me. You know, and, like, all eight of them would just battle. Yeah. I, I still think and that like, like my arms cut off. Yeah, if a knight, a leg, if know? a knight five hundred years ago saw these nerds fucking like battling, and he like came in and was like, "I'm going to actually fight you," and they're like, "We can handle it," they'd be dead like <laughs> real fucking fast. We'd probably just kick them. Like, uh, it was it, there's Indiana Jones had a gun. Yeah, like, throw their sword at him. I feel you know? the athleticism of a real knight was lost on these folk, and that's a polite <laughs> really way of cut their legs off. Well, the other thing too is, is like this, some of the hits what they were doing at the Renaissance Fair. Yes, I know they there put their people, arms behind their backs. Yeah, they're people and then they, jumping. But some on of the leg. hits looked like little bitch hits too. It's like I just I got you. Yeah, I was like that might nick someone, but if they're wearing armor, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, I saw this thing. It's not your arm is gone, and if your arm is gone, you're fucking not fighting anymore. Your arm's gone. You're definitely bleeding out. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna <laughs> die. You might, yeah, as, like, you might as well go fi- find a whore, and you know, you don't have time for enjoy. that unless you like know where like the vein is, and you can like pinch it off and like just tie it off. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, well, like, at least go find some alcohol and sit down for your last hour. Yeah. Well, I mean, or thirty-eight seconds, depending upon like how bad true, of a cut true. it is. Last hour. Yeah. It'd just be squirting. Yeah, I'll go out there, like, maybe if you're, let, let arms, like, arms, like, hanging. It's, it, there, I don't think that, like, scene from Monte Python with the Black Knight would actually, well, you know, that's happen. The thing. In, in the Middle Ages, though, you didn't just lop someone's arms off. It, that shit could happen. No, but you would just, like, stab them in the gut or somewhere morally, you know, like, or you oh, cut them real good. You cut them real good, but, like, if you cut them at certain spots, like, right... Right under there, like there's a coroid yeah, artery, there's a, like, so, like, you know, like your femoral arm doesn't artery. fall off, but you're fucked. You yeah, know, like gangrene setting in. It, you if you hit someone in the femoral artery, like right, right there, right on your leg, yeah, upper thigh. That's that's like a good like I don't know, okay. forty eight seconds, and then like if you can't staunch it, keep in mind like it's deep in there, so it's a good cut. But like yeah, you're that's it. So let me go the opposite direction. 
What if it was a lightsaber? <sighs> Fuck. Okay. And that is cauterized. cauterized. That is yeah, cauterized. You're fine. And you're you fine. Hop yeah. around. So this is a thing. <laughs> you could hop around. It hurt like a son of a bitch. But this like... is a thing in France <laughs> now. Lightsabers. Yes. Really. Instead of fencing, they have taken on lightsabers, and there's a big backlash. Like some of the original fencers are like, no. It's not real fencing or whatever, you know. Well, fuck it. But it, it has, sounds more fun. It brought so many more people into the sport of fencing because you could use a lightsaber. I would definitely lightsaber if I got the chance. Exactly. If there was fence lightsaber like, fencing in Omaha. Buddy during high school had like those uh the cool ones that have like the, the good glass. plastic sheath. Not or, glass yeah, like well, poly yeah, solid. Solid, yeah. Yeah. And so there's the red one and the green one and they made that like <laughs> noise while you're actually hit. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. So what are they using for the those the, the real fights? The plastic. The one that, those, yeah, like, those were not cheap. He definitely spent money on those things. I remember when like the first ones were coming out. My cousin bought one for like three hundred dollars. Yeah, bring grab one of those for Dan. No, they were definitely not cheap, but they were very cool. What do you uh, want? So he's got it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's a big thing in France now. I feel like we should do that here and just like, hey, you fucking LARPers, here's some Star Wars shit. You love this too, right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, all right, this is much fun. But that's the thing. I brought my lightsaber to the Renaissance Fair, remember? Mm. They did not really enjoy it. Gears was like that shitty, like, <laughs> flip out one that's like $5 in the kids' yeah. department. It was eight. It was eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no noises. If like, you brought the, the real one, out maybe out they might have appreciated it more. Yeah, for sure. But then you, like, have to have that the entire time, you know? Yeah. You could, like, put it behind your back and pretend that it's not there and then, like, <clears throat> true. True. I don't know. <laughs> I would love to go to the Renaissance Fair and just, like, you know, do some goofy shit with those guy- people. Like, you know the black egg? Like, you know what a black egg is? No, no. Okay, so a black egg is you take an egg, right? You poke two holes and you blow the uh, the center out. And then you cover the bottom with, like, wax paper or glue or whatever. And traditionally, what you do is you crush up glass and put that inside your uh, black egg. You paint it black and cover the top or whatever. And then you'd hold it in your fist and then, like, crunch it and throw it in someone's eyes. And then, like, you know, you can't see shit because you got glass in your eyes. Jesus. So it'd be really fun to do that with, like, I don't know, some, like, cayenne pepper or something. And, like, all right. Mace. Ha! A mace and then, egg? like, you know, like, like you guys some wanted sand? to fucking, like, I don't know, medieval spar, but, like, not realistic. So I just did, like, half realistic, kind of like you guys with your goofy fucking armor and all that. They'd be like, ah. Ah. You can't be, you can't fight with us anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I win. <sighs> yeah. Now they wouldn't allow it. Or like, you know, they're sitting there with their swords h- hacking and slashing and you kick them in the balls because why not? Like, it's a it's an effective technique, yeah? Yeah, well. I feel like they practice swords for like five minutes and the rest of the 24 hours of the day, they're just... Fapping it? Talking about D&D or flapping it. What's flapping? I mean, don't get me wrong. I play d and <laughs> I can d and with, their with some of the best of them. That's what I was thinking. Flapping you, their can, you can D and D with the best. Of I them. can D and D, not the best of them. Like some of the best. There are some people that are like, dude, you know it's on page two hundred forty-seven. No, I really fucking don't. Like, <laughs> tell me. I'll, oh, that's neat. When's the last time you touched a vagina? Never. There's a, there's a huge book about this stuff. Are you kidding me? There's so like Chase there's does, so Chase, many books. Chase doesn't know anything about D and D. Explain it to him. Yeah, right? I don't know what the fuck. <sighs> is. Do fuck. You, you don't know how to play the game. No, I don't. Um, it's not a game. No, it's a game. I don't know. It's not very a much a game. game. <laughs> it's a game. However, it's no, gone through like multiple versions where there's like, all right, there's like the original one that like, I think that was like 70s or 80s and it's real simple. But it's not a board game. Or it's, was it's, it? It's kind of a board game, but like you kind of make your own board up as you go. Okay. Like, you know. You draw. Like, you can, but like, there's like a grid or like a hexagon thing, but either way, it's like, oh, that's five feet. Each thing is five feet and then you can... Depending upon your like class and racing, like oh, I can move thirty five feet. Fuck you, I'm five feet ahead of you. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't hit me. That kind of shit. Okay. Or like oh, my bow hmm. can only go that far. <laughs> okay, oh, but rest. okay, but not like. I'm more confused than. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Than just, you know, I really without <laughs> bringing out some of the books and like trying to talk about it for a fair amount of time. You can't just do an accurate description of like, yeah, you do some things, you roll some dice, and like do some math, and that's how you win, or lose and die. Hmm. So you're doing this indoors? No, oh, it's it's a board game. <laughs> There's no live action of this, and if you are live actioning Dungeons and Dragons, in I want to meet you and just 
observe for like my own comedy sake because yeah. that is kind of bizarre. Hmm. There, there's people out there, Dan. I, I know. I've seen a clip of like lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure everyone has. And like, like that's Dungeons and Dragons. No, that's like that's the really weird shit. That's some LARPers though. Too. That's some LARPers. That's. But hey, you know, if you like LARPing, that props to you because some people really enjoy that. That's like their circle of friends. That. Yeah, it's their community. They their, go camping while they do that. Like, it's a camping trip while you, like, hit each other with sticks. That sounds actually kind of fun. It just... <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> do they drink? Or I, I don't know if they drink. If I went no. to that, I would definitely be drunk. I Or on acid. I don't know how to do You think any of these people, do, like, get really pissed off? Do they off? drink when you guys play D&D? At yes, the we drink. Spielbound? Yes, we all okay. drink and are, like... This group is mostly socially like adjusted people. There's like a couple that are like, "Hey, you're a little weird, but you're good." Is there another group playing D and D like down the bar that's like the nerds or no? No, but in Wayne, Nebraska, when I played Dungeons and Dragons, there was definitely like the Friday night special group, and man, those were some very socially awkward people. Hmm. And here I am, like, you guys want to like do drugs and drink? I'm like, no, we're just gonna roll the dice. And you went and played D and D with them? Fuck time? yes, I played D and D with that. them. I didn't know. Like for a while, it was pretty fun. But then, like, I'd be like, all right, guys, it's like ten now, and I'm gonna go to the bar <laughs> and like do things. Wait, everyone's outside. Yeah, and they're like, I have showered for a couple days. I'm like, I can tell. No. How long does this game usually last? <sighs> that depends upon the group and yeah. the campaign as you would call it uh mm. so like eight days days months years like the game that i've been playing with this specific group has been going on for like a year and some odd days jesus what the hell? however we only meet exactly. up like every wednesday or every other wednesday and then like people got shit going on so like you know you skip a couple weeks so really if you were to put all the time together because like we're all adults and like hey meeting up at six is cool but i gotta go home by 9 30 because i got a job in the morning and shit like i don't know we've probably put in 87 hours so that's a long time so that's there's cards right? however there can be cards but that's like what not... the fuck there can be cards or can't well, there's no some cards people, there's definitely dice let me put it this way <laughs> there are plenty of attachments to this game you can have totems oh yeah you can get like little mini figures or you could just like use like a like a marble or some shit i don't like it depends but on a... like how dedicated are you and there are people who are like, I've got this deck of cards that like has all these pictures of the magical items. Like, you know, that shit's in the book. You can just read it. Is there professionals? Yes. There are definitely professionals. Is you... there like a professional circuit? Of, I'm like, sure, like, I'm pretty NFL sure. NFL of d So, I think the original people were called, like, Wizards of the Coast. And they're <laughs> the ones who, like, made the original D&D thing. And, like, those guys would be professionals. There's Is also, that, like, like, how it started, even, yeah. in general? But, okay. like, okay, so on YouTube, they have Critical Role. Critical Role is a bunch of, like, nerds playing D&D, but, like, they're basically just doing goofy shit on there and bringing in celebrities with one-off characters that they, like, kill off at the end of the game for fun. All right. So there's, there's professionals. And then there's, you know, weirdos who are professionals. I watched one video online where they're like, oh, there's a dark elf. What'd she say to me? And you're like, you're a fucking weirdo. Wow. This is all imaginary. They're not real. You should go talk to a woman and just say, hi, I'm Ted. Mm-hmm. You know, see, what, see where it goes. Then he'd be all weird. Oh, yeah. Well, there are some girls that like D&D, though. There are. As far as I know, girls just like it when you're into something. Yes, However, some girls aren't into it when you're into something because you're like, hey, I'm going to go play Dungeons and Dragons. Like, what am I going to do? Like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. I'm like, well, what are you doing? I'm literally sitting around with a bunch of fucking nerds eating Doritos and pretending to be a dwarf. <laughs> you really want to hang out with me right now? Oh, I just, I don't want to be alone. Like, fine, come and check it out. I don't get this. Obviously, that's why I fucking didn't invite you for the last year because, uh. Yeah. So. Shout out to my ex. Yeah. <laughs> Please leave me alone when I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's really not that fun if you don't know what it is and you don't like it. So don't show up. Especially if it's like she'd show up. You're not. Oh, she tried, and it's like I'm honestly like, there is nothing sexy going on here. There are no other women. There is. Oh, no... she would freak out about other women. Oh, and there? there's always like some like She's subtle questioning. Like, there's obviously. some subtle like, what are you doing without me? Like, no, no, literally. I am rolling a dice and pretending to, like, hit things with, like, fake swords and shit. Like, this is the epitome of nerd. 
like, if you ask nerds, what is the nerdiest thing that a nerd can do? And they're like, Dungeons and Dragons. Like, yeah, that's, that's it. It's fucking bad. Jesus. We should join a fight club or something. <laughs> I mean, that'd be fun. But... <laughs> an actual fight club. Yeah, yeah you know, to be fair, club. if I found an actual <laughs> fight club, I would definitely go to that shit. Yeah. I, right, I would. Right. Yeah, I agree. And then I agree. I'd go to Project Mayhem, too. Or, like, you guys want to go, like, You knock... would be all in, Dan. Of course I would be all in. If they're like, you want to go knock people's antennas off their roofs? Fuck yes, I do. <laughs> Fuck capitalism. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it'd right. be pretty fun. There is a fight club in Omaha. Well, yeah, you you don't have... talk about it. No. Well, there's not a real. fight club there's in not, Omaha. It's real. It's not a fight club. I've seen it. In Omaha. You forgot everything about that fight club. You don't talk. This about is Omaha. Like, you can talk. What is the guy's name who made it. that book? Like uh, Jack Cusack? No, not Cusack. That was uh, the uh, road guy. Jack? John Cusack? No, I'm fucking. <laughs> he wrote. I'll look it he up. He wrote a but, whole um, bunch of other goofy books. There's a sequel. They were supposed. They were supposed to make a sequel with like well, Tyler Durden's child. To be fair, they really didn't need to do any of that. But the guy wrote some other really bizarre books, and there's one where like this chick has this fucked up face. So she tries to go around and just steal things. So she's like shoving a turkey down her pants and walking out of the grocery store because nobody wants to confront her because she's got this like goofy shit going on her face. What? Yeah. In the meantime, she's giving her friend a bunch of estrogen pills without him knowing it. So he's becoming a bitch. And it's it's really <laughs> like, it's a fucking weird book. Jack Polonak. Chuck. Chuck Polonak. Chuck Polonak? Heck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Interesting books. But, uh, Tra- I... Transgressional fiction. Yeah, well, it's it's some weird stuff. Good Either stuff. way. It's good uh, good if movie. you watch that movie and you're like, oh, yeah, fuck the man, we're gonna do that, and then you, like, actually watch the movie and you're like, oh, there's the Pepsi commercials, there's the Coke commercials, there's, like, oh, the product placement. No, you're thinking of Natural Born Killers. No, I'm definitely thinking of that movie. Because that's just, like, what Hollywood does. is like, oh, you want to fight the man? But we're going to put all this advertising in here. So just just watch the movie again and look for, like, natural advertising yeah. that anything yeah. is. Like Bud Light and shit. Oh, I've yeah, seen it's, it. it's yeah, all right. through that you're shit. Out. And that's it's true. like, oh, so if you really like the book and then you watch the movie and you're like, oh, I'm a fucking rebel, Tyler Durden, don't fucking watch the movie. Just don't. It's a bad idea because you're, you're getting all the advertising brainwashing that, like, the original thing is against. His name is Robert Paulson. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that was a, His name is Robert talk Paulson. About it. No, Robert oh, Paulson can, can be talked about talk because about, now oh, he has a name his, because he fucking died. Yeah, because now oh, he has oh, a name. Okay, that was Meatloaf. His name is Robert Paulson. Mm-hmm. What? That was Meatloaf. That was what meatloaf? did Meatloaf say? That, that was, was meatloaf. meatloaf. That was Meatloaf? <laughs> Robert Paulson <laughs> yeah. was Meatloaf. Oh my god. You ever yeah. knew that? I never knew that. What? Yeah, that was definitely Meatloaf. Dude, that makes so much sense With the titties? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, man. Bob had well, bitch tits. <laughs> his name was Robert Paulson. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Robert Meatloaf Paulson. That's cool. How do you get the name Meatloaf? That like, was his name. He chose that. Yeah. But like, why? Maybe he liked it. Maybe he I got mean, called Meatloaf as a kid. Do you not like Meatloaf? Oh, no, I, I like Meatloaf. But like, from when was certain... the last time you had a good Meatloaf? You ever had a Meatloaf sandwich? Uh, yeah. Honestly, of okay. So the it's best good. Meatloaf I had. One? I don't even know the last time I had a meatloaf sandwich. It was at a Sundance, and this lady had brought a buffalo meatloaf that she, like, handmade mm. and, like, cooked, and, like, there was lots of garlic and other, like, wonderful things in there. That was fucking good. That sounds really good. It was good. And then, bison uh, meatloaf. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, top-notch. Notch. Bison loaf. Top-notch. Uh, other than that, like, as far as meatloaf goes, I went to that uh, place like Bud and Doyle's down on 60th. 60th. You know where Jonesy's Tacos is? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. track side. Boyd and Charlie's, you mean? Boyd and Charlie's, Boyd and Charlie's. Oh. I had a decent meatloaf from there. I mean, like, I can't say that meatloaf is ever like, fuck yeah, meatloaf. Because it, it's meatloaf. It's meatloaf, though, man. So it was, meatloaf's it was, really good. It, that one was oh, a good was a one. sandwich or no? Just meatloaf. It was just the meatloaf. All right, all right. But it was good. What about you? When was the last time you had a good meatloaf? Mm, I don't remember. Hmm. Last time I had the meatloaf sandwich was just from a fucking gas station in Council Bluffs. Oh. But they make good food there. They got a little... Oh, they got their kitchen and stuff. All right. I well, mean, not great, but I, it's... I was about you know, to say... Gas station. I was in uh, Des Moines for work like two years ago, and I don't remember this ba- name of the bar because it was kind of like a weird, like, Benson-ish area. Okay. But it was like... One part of the bar was like the young spot, and then there was like a middle bar, but then there was like a 
restaurant kind of or whatever. You know, like, we all went there for work one night and hung out there. And I got um, a pot roast that was really good. And then um, finally I was like, yeah, this is kind of like a young bar or whatever. I'd, yeah. I would drink here. This is this is like a Benson or whatever. And then it turns out I had to stay one extra day. Everyone else got to go home. And I was like, well, fuck, what am I going to do by myself tonight? Go to the bar. Might as well go back to that same bar I know or whatever. Yeah, yeah and got a meatloaf sandwich, and it was fucking super good. Right. And I uh, ended up talking to some crackhead for a little while. That's always fun. But then I think, and I was thinking, <laughs> thinking about this. It is. Because the cook, like, came out of the bar and was like, hey, you got the meatloaf sandwich, didn't you? I was like, yeah. I was like, it was really good, huh? I was like, yeah, it was. Dude. Thank like, you. Yeah, I fucking made that shit. Dude. I'm yeah. actually proud of this meatloaf because I took the time to make it a goddamn good meatloaf. Exactly. He's like, that, I, I, that's my special is the meatloaf. Like, that's the, my favorite meal to cook here or whatever. But I think he also was coming out to save me from the crackhead talking to the crackhead all night but yeah you can only spend so much time talking to crackheads they're entertaining but like after a while like dude i i kind of wanted to just, i needed someone to save i want to go drink especially by when, myself and I, I think the bartender might have said something to the cook or just the cook especially just, when you're eating know. in the crackhead well i had already ate it. and i was like oh man that was a good meal all right i'm ready to leave and then the crackhead started talking to me i think i ordered another beer. what was he talking about just fucking doing crack Crackhead shit. Jesus. He's, yeah, you could just tell he was a crackhead. He's straight up about it, huh? No, but... I got some crack. You want some? I yeah. fucking just did a bunch. I was a meatloaf. I made it. <laughs> I'm high. Dude, oh, do you guys know the... Cra- <laughs> well, he's not actually a crackhead. He's probably schizophrenic, but he's like the dude who hangs down on Saddle Creek around like that uh, Mega Mart. Oh, yeah. Bald head. Sonny. Black gentleman. His name's Sonny. Is his name Sonny? Yeah, he's a fucking psycho. Oh, yeah. No, he's he's actually a schizophrenic. I'm pretty sure he's got, like, he Mad needs depression. actual help. He is, because he freaked out on me one time. Yeah, but I saw him, like, fighting with the cops the other day. Like, not, like, fighting, fighting, but, like, they were talking to him, so there's two police officers, and he's, like, yelling at him and stuff, and then, like, you could tell they're kind of just like, oh, we know this dude. He's, he's crazy, but he's semi-harmless. So they started walking away, and he walks up to this, like, stop sign and starts, like, punching it. And he's like, yeah, hit me on the eye, you motherfuckers, and, like, punching this In thing. broad like, daylight? Broad daylight. This is, like, 5.30. You seen this? Yeah. I was Jeez. like, oh, man, this guy's weird. They he's normally got, like, guy. his lasso and, like, or some other weird shit he's what? playing with. A yeah, like, lasso? It's not a real lasso. It's, like, a string or maybe a wire that he found, but he, like, swings <laughs> it around and shit. <laughs> He's a very entertaining Do character. Do you, like, stop at that light and just, like, watch him all the oh, time? Oh, yeah, fuck yes. He's on the other side, so it's safe to watch. I wouldn't, like, if I was, like, on the other side where he is, I'd just be, like, looking for him, like, God damn it, I don't, I know. No, I don't want to give you money. Uh, I thought he, yeah, I thought he was funny, too, until I walked to the gym one time and he was walking by. Oh, did he attack you? Because he's attacked some other people. No, he fucking looked at me and was staring at me. And he starts spitting on the ground and, like, saying stuff. Probably because like, you're a fucking honking. I'm like, what? You getting, white motherfucker. He's getting all defensive. Just I said, what? And he starts spitting on the fucking sidewalk. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like a defensive mechanism? I just walked off. I was like, this guy's fucking crazy no, as no, fuck. No, no, he actually is, like, a schizophrenic. So have you, have you seen him at the I've walked store? by and had a well, good time f- with him. Where, like, I walked by and I was like, hey, what's up, man? He's like, you know, we're just doing the thing out here with this. I'm like, yeah, I hear you. And I just kept walking. And, like, I didn't have a problem. Well, yeah, he's a psycho. Fuck. No, he definitely is a fucking weird dude. They need to move him somewhere he's else. He's entertaining to watch. No, man, he's not hurting anyone, is he? He's a fucking he, psycho. He, did he needs to get out of here. Someone that like so the same gym that I've been to with Chase or whatever. It's the neighborhood that we live in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but there's there's a dude there who like it's dangerous. I don't know. He was an interesting guy. However, he's like, yeah, that dude definitely hit me with a piece of wood one day when I was walking by. <laughs> However, yeah, he's a good guy. I'm pretty sure that this right guy turning. who got hit with a piece of wood is also kind of a fuckhead, you know. And so he I, right, probably had it coming. Maybe not like no. by Sonny, if that's the guy's name, but like you know, he had it coming at some point. How'd you know his name is Sonny? Because I gave him a dollar one time and he's all nice. He I said, said, "What's your name?" He said, "Sonny." Sonny. And then next time I seen Sonny, he's spitting on the ground wanting to fucking kill me. Well, just hold a dollar up like, remember me, Sonny? Yeah, that's exactly. He probably, he's like, I don't know if I should hate this guy or fucking kill him right now. And then you're like, dude, Sonny, it's cool. Remember, Oops. I got the dollars. And he was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm going to go buy a shot. Thanks. Yeah, if you would have said his name, you'd be like, hey, Sonny, that's all you got to do. Sonny. I'm like, how do you know me? Thank you, you for the, the dollar. 
<laughs> I, the dude's definitely entertaining to watch, but I, yeah. He's always waving at people. And oh, shit. yeah. Or, like, walking in the middle of the street and, like, waving at cars. I've watched that, too, where he's, like, literally, like, walking in front of traffic and, like, ah! Well, I mean, like, though, he's trying to get money, right? I actually don't think he was trying to get money while he was walking in front of the cars. So I think he's just like, I'm fucking nuts. I'm going to walk in I front of you and get attention. Is, that, is this a spot, Mega Saver? It's, it's like up and down that area, like Mega Saver by that, like the family fair. Like sometimes you'll see him a little bit further down, but that's like the general thing. Okay. California. Ca- yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cali. He, he moves a little bit, but it's it's that general Cali area. Cali and Saddle. Yeah. Saddle Cali. Yeah. Saddle the Cali. Hmm. He looks like he's having a good time. Well, what else as good of a time he's as you can have like, be on like disability from the government. I don't think he's on anything. I think he's just a fucking. So How does he get money? Begging and being homeless. Where do you think he lives? He is, do you think he lives? He's a homeless person. No, he's definitely homeless. I am pretty sure he right. lives well, under some trees well, by well, a family fair. Really he carries a huge bag with him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's definitely. homeless. I just figured he was like the neighborhood jest. You no, know? no, no. He's homeless as fuck. No. All right. He's a fuckhead. So maybe he's only going to be around <laughs> this year. He'll be gone. He was here last year and the year before. Hmm. I've lived in so that he's, area he's, for a he's while. He's squatting somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's under some trees. Hmm. I have walked by some right trees right going there. to family fair, and there's like there's like the like the homeless person clutter. Like you know, there's some like trash and beer cans and like a blanket and hmm. like other weird things. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck is this? Homeless people. That's weird because actually. Um, right on L Street, if you take the interstate um, going east, L, yeah. L East or whatever, there used to be this little tent in the trees right there. It's kind of hard to see. You kind of had to like be looking mm. for it. But they like, had like a little clothesline. Their clothes would be hanging out, a little lawn chair out there and shit. It's and urban camping. It was there for like a month. And nothing, it stayed there. Because there's also this hotel right there that's like abandoned. And I think... Homeless people are squatting. Yeah, that's in it. the best place to hunt. Because because there's also like a porta potty outside. Yeah. So or someone is squatting in it or living in it yeah. for sure. Um, just moving room to room room. Anyway, I went. I got on L Street going like the opposite direction, kind of like. I think there's like a truck rental spot right there, on the other side of L Street, and there was this little like dirt path going just like up into the woods, and. It made me realize because there was a guy walking towards it, yeah. and he just like had a grocery bag. And I've seen other people like trying to cross. They're L probably Street all camping right up there. there. I was like, God damn it! There's a fucking camp up there. Where at? I wonder how Are interesting it would be to bring probably like just by the a big bottle of vodka, like just the big one, and walk in there and be and like, McCormix? "Who wants to get down?" And just like throw it down on the ground and like see what happens. You know what I would like to do, though, honestly? If we're going to do something like that, you need three people armed with a camera, a gun, and a bottle of vodka. Gun is concealed for emergencies, okay? Because mm-hmm. we're not just going in fucking blind. Well, Dan will uh, fucking kill him. Dan will kill him, too. That's, well, I don't know, though, man. Homeless <laughs> people can scrap. Homeless, they ain't got they got nothing yeah, much left for them. Yeah, you know? but if you like, if, <laughs> you, if you do it quietly, like okay, well, one just, by one, let me finish, while they're though, drunk I just, off vodka, I just want to go in there. Know what's happening. Let's get drunk with them, and I want to like film them talking. Like, tell me your story. Fuck that! I'm gonna get drunk of. Why? I'll watch. You wouldn't talk to them. You wouldn't okay, ask them questions. Okay, so here's how it goes. Instead of one bottle, fucking... right? Instead of one bottle, you bring in your bottle of vodka that's actually just filled with water. And then you hand out, like, pints or fists or whatever to everybody, and you've got yours. And then you sit there and drink with them. So you're stone cold sober, but they think you're, like, keep it up and shit. Maybe it's vodka water. I mean, you want to get a buzz before you kill them, obviously. Yeah. Like, that's <laughs> fucking rough. <laughs> See? <laughs> you gotta enjoy it, yeah. you know? But anyways, you get them real drunk, and then, like, you're pretty sober so you can function when they're, like, getting crazy and pulling out their hobo knives, and you're like, fuck your hobo knife, I brought a machete, whatever. And you yeah. just want to go to fight them, though, don't you? No, no. You want to talk to them and find out their story. I want to talk to and them and find me... out who, like, who's going to look for them at the end of this. Yeah. And if people might look for them, yeah, you leave them alone. If you go kill those people, then too. So Dan's gonna kill him for real. <laughs> and we yeah. can bring the camera, but like, I'm gonna wear like a clown mask at that point or something. That's fine, dude. <laughs> I heard a fucking great joke about clowns. Go on. Okay. Okay. So you know what they say about people with big shoes? Big dicks, right? So what they say about people with small trucks? Or big trucks? 
Small dicks, yeah? That's why everyone's fucking terrified of clowns. Because they got giant feet and tiny cars. And that thing's going to fop out like... <laughs> honk, honk! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 It's not the best joke, but I found one. it entertaining. It comes out like a fucking sledgehammer. It just... <laughs> but it's got a honk when it drops, because like, it's... Yeah. Yeah, for but, sure. I mean, that clowns are terrifying. Now we know some more clown information, because they got them giant feet and little itty-bitty cars. There's no compensation. It's just all goofy. <laughs> You got big old clown dicks. Apparently. Well. So, don't fuck with clowns, because they'll rape you. <laughs> I mean, I already knew that. <laughs> That's okay? what they do, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is a clown. That's yeah. how they get their clown nose, right? John Wayne Gacy. Mm. What? You don't know who that guy is? Uh, John Wayne Gacy was a clown. He sounds familiar. definitely murdered people. He was a prolific serial killer. What? Oh, he killed children. He was a clown? Yeah. He killed However, children and found. Here's the weird thing about him. Is that the, the guy him. that skinned him? He was like, in Chicago. He had like a lamp skin. No, that's uh, Ed Gein. Lamp. That's Ed Gein. Oh. No, this is a he. Yeah, he murdered children yeah. as a clown, and he put them in his walls in his house, and no, like underneath it, and then people yeah. like neighbors complained about the smell, and that's how he got caught. Look him up. He's However, a fucking freak. When he got caught, he also asked, "Who else did you get?" So there's this whole, like, weird conspiracy thing going on where he actually, like, was part of a underground, like, pedophile, like, um, snuff film thing. Oh, Jesus. And, like, other, there's other involvement with people who, like, mm. you know, there's, like, there's a picture of him with, like, Masonic symbolism, like a ring and some other, like, shit on him that, like, in his normal, what? like, everyday stuff. And so there's a whole, like, weird connection with him and, like, a child porn ring, kind of like, you know, the, um... The shit that's going on right now. Well, the shit that's going on now, or the uh, the boys town thing that happened during the yep, '80s yep. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we're talking about so, that shit too. Yeah. What the fuck we, is wrong with We these just people? talked about that, yeah, didn't we? You didn't know about that. Yeah, huh? no. There's, there's. How do I not know about this clown? And Chase does. Well, because I don't know. Because how do you know about this clown? Did you get raped He's by him? He's a fucking prolific guy. No, this dude. is like, like the '70s or something. Uh, that was '80s. It was '80s. '80s, so '70s, got, or '80s. You got raped by him. No. No, I just. <laughs> heard about him a long time ago he's right. famous he's fucking because freak. he was the clown killer and that's where like a lot of like you know the fucking clown killer stories I come do from not when i look up a picture of a killer clown look guys. he's scary as fuck yeah he, exactly i'm not looking no, at that he used to go to the kids' parties and parties out. and as a clown yeah as they sure called him did. and said hey we need a clown for sure they need Find these kids. What a fucking ugh. No, yeah. I'm not looking at that. No, I'm not seeing it. Uh, that shit is fucking horrible, and people like that definitely need to die. No, there's a famous picture of him in his clown. Was that it's shit, just creepy as fuck. Was that shit on um, Rotten.com? No, no this, I don't there was know. no like. <laughs> you guys was... both know that website, though. Yeah, fuck yeah. I think everyone does, right? Hopefully, so yeah. I remember, website. I mean, it's, like it's kind death, of fun, but do you know the history shit. of that website? No, it's it, all dead people. It was huh? all about like censorship. They were trying to censor the internet right when it came out, and some guy was just like, "Nope, I'm gonna put a bunch of weird yeah, shit like, up here." The internet cannot be censored. That's its whole point. And yep. I think it still exists in some form. Uh, I'm sure there's. Is. I Rotten. also I'm sure the dark web has a much more horrible version of Rotten.com. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, everything on the dark web is horrible. God, I remember one picture, or like people like you know dead and faces smashed in and all that shit. But I remember this chick was in a bathtub. Oh, <laughs> don't even fucking and, bring that and she up! Was, she yes. was, oh my fucking it's god! It's a famous photo. She was, was shitting and it was fucking yeah, going right on her face. Until but was, you said that again, that was something that's so like far back in repressed <laughs> memory. I didn't have to think about it. But it was like yellow and it went it right was, out of her butt. It was and, orange juice. Either way, was it? it's yeah. fucking disgusting. But that means she did a fucking... She, she butt put, chugged it. She Yeah, she put orange juice in her ass and then fucking farted it out and smashed it into her face. Uh, we'll take that call, too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever done that for fun? Oh, that's absolutely horrible. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's worse than Two Girls, One Cop, honestly. Just uh, because I've never watched that. I, I just... No. Sour orange juice. Super sour orange juice. Yeah, I mean, maybe she had an enema right before With it. corn in it. Could just be orange juice. Who? Either way. You read orange juice with corn in it? Me neither. Ew. <laughs> and poo particles. <laughs> and whatever else. Ham no, from the night before. In your free time, definitely look up the uh, like 
the whole connection of the Masonic thing with like sure, I clothing. will, I will, I'll look it up because like his arrest record shows who else did you get, and that's like that's yeah. typed out and everything. Hmm. Do you know about the Garden State Killer? No, I don't think so. Chase didn't know about this either when I talked about it. Um, the guy that was found out from DNA, Mm-mm. he was a uh, California killing women, um, and then like stopped. But they had some of his DNA on file somehow. Like so, petty arrest of something else? No, like they got it from a crime scene. Oh, okay. So then they took it to um, one of the websites, Ancestry DNA. Oh. The people that send their DNA in, yeah. you know. And someone in his family, distant, you know, had sent their DNA in. And they're like, okay, this is really close. What relatives do you have that were living in California in the 80s? Oh, one? We got him. Used to be a cop. Yeah, this is the guy, you know, and busted and him. Ladies and, and gentlemen, life. this is why you never take pictures of your face and put it on the internet. This is why you don't do Ancestry.com. This is why you don't participate in modern society, because if you want to get away with shit, you can't let them know who you are. But that's the thing. You can't enjoy life. Dude, yeah. I enjoy unless, life unless all the fucking time. Living in the mountains... Dan, but Dan, all I I'm enjoy saying, the shit out all of I'm life. saying, Dan, are you a murderer, is, Dan? Dan, all I'm saying is, don't leave your DNA because <laughs> someone in your family has probably sent their DNA. What do you in. think the gloves are for? Well, it's more than that. It's a fucking eyelash. You know, you wearing a beard mat, a beard well, net, beard mask. It's beard been net. a while, and let's be honest, but no. since you killed. <laughs> uh, these are all jokes. He shaves yeah, when he kills. Yeah, obviously. He shaves during okay, the okay. kill. You see Marky Mark. Shaves on him. No, yeah, he's shaving obviously. killer. You seen Marky Mark during the Departed? You know, he's got like the like, the whole suit and like the thing. Yeah, I mean, you got to do it right. All right, okay. you're gonna do it. You essentially wear a hazmat suit before you kill someone. No, you just walk down a random alley and plug someone and walk off and then oh. jerk off later because you're like, hey, I got away with it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, that's that's what that's what you do, I guess. Uh, I fucking I don't know, dude. Uh, there's you do. a you no, do okay. Know. So there's a really cool <laughs> show on um, Netflix called uh, Something Minds. Ted Bundy. No, it's it it, it actually about the Mayans. No, Something Minds. Uh, it's not Criminal Minds. Dangerous Minds. Uh, fuck, I'll think of it in a second. But it's Inferior. actually about the uh, the first C- or CIA uh, profiler. So it's the like guy who wrote the profile on how to find like serial killers and all that, and he goes oh. around and uh, actually like interviews the original like the original psychopaths that got caught. Manson. Yeah, and, like well, it's prior to Manson because he's interviewing this weird guy who like killed his mom and like fucked her throat and all this weird shit, and like but like what it's the a- fuck, dude. It's a- <laughs> he just he said it so casually, fucked her throat and everything. Jesus no, Christ. it's a fucking bizarre <laughs> show. <laughs> But, like, legitimately, like, the this is during the 60s, so the CIA guy is going around and actually, like, talking to these psychopaths like they're normal people and, like, communicating with them because there's a couple that are in jail. So he's, like, trying to figure out, like, what crazy is. And so he just, like, talks about the most fucked up things. Like, he's like, so how's that 14-year-old girl? And they're like, oh, you're really into that? He's like, dude, I don't really care. And so he gets him to, like, talk. And so that's how he created, like, the profiles of how to actually find serial killers. Because he actually, like, you know, talked to them, found out how their brain worked, how they were as a child, like, what happened, blah, blah, blah. And so that's how he built, like, the building blocks of criminal profiling. That's how and, we know psychopaths versus social. Yeah, yeah. Or but it's it's a fucking fascinating show because you're like, dude, how the fuck do these people actually exist? Like, wow. well, I mean, obviously they exist. But, like, what is the cause and effect? Is it, like, genetics? Is it how you were born and raised? Like, just what brings that out? And, like, I think psychopathy, like, the full-on, like, if Hannibal Lecter was real, that's genetic. You can't fucking, like, uh, I have no response here. Dun, 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 dun. But, like, the sociopath who, like, oh, I kind of feel bad about it, but I got to keep doing it. Yeah. You know, but it's it was so, a fucking cool show. So what is it, nature or nurture? <sighs> I think a little bit of both. I think the really, yeah. Like, I mean, I think really... that's essential in, in all yeah, situations. Yeah. Anytime anyone asks that, you know, because I mean, there's a. It also, you could be born a serial killer, but not well, like it gets into the same the like little thing where uh, some of the best cops also are very close to uh, the sociopath because uh, like the fear response, they don't have the same fear response that most people have. Like you have a fight or flight response that naturally yeah. like kicks in, 
And so, like, the full-on sociopath who's like, I'm going to fucking stab you. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of fun. Well, doesn't that so, get, like, trained out of you at some point, Yeah, too? but, like, there's certain, like, cops, and you can, like, track their, like, fatherhood, like, kind of, like, back a couple oh, generations. families. Yeah, family Yeah, and generations. you can be like, hey, these guys were actually, like, these were the best cops on the beat because blah, blah, blah. But it actually gets into, like, there's a certain, like, just, like, it's not an enzyme or whatever, but, like, I don't even know how to That's describe it. That's a genetic thing. It's a genetic thing that, like, their fear response is not the same as, like, most common people. Hmm. Which is why they're able to go into a situation, like, look at all these fucking crazy dead bodies and, like, I bet you it's this guy. And, like, find out what it is. So they're, like, hunting someone just like themselves. It's just the opposite end of the spectrum because they're, like, hunting their person who likes to hunt people. Was it William Defoe? It's like William Defoe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's William Defoe. Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints. You creep me out, Dan. No, it's it's a fucking great show, dude. It's no, it sounds interesting. Incredible as to fuck. like. Well, psychology, like when sounds you actually creepy. like watch how different people's brains work, it's really interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to hear about like certain cr- crimes, you know, like the yeah. unsolved mystery crimes podcast. No, that's not what I'm about. I don't want to just hear another unsolved mystery. You know, like I want to know why people are murdering. Like, yeah, you know, like, like, what caused it? But, like, okay, so you remember that movie, Natural Born Killers? Of course. And, uh, what's, uh, Kaskeski? Fuck you, spaghetti. It's not spaghetti. What's spaghetti? Not spaghetti. Skaghetti. Skaghetti. Skinnetti. Skinnetti. Yeah. Skagnetti. 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 Okay, so, like, Skagnetti on Skagnetti. He's, like, the cop that's a fucking awesome However, psychopath. he also is a psychopath. However, he tracked but down he the psychopath mom and he, like, murdered. Yeah, but, like, that's the same kind of, like, a trigger that would happen to somebody who's, like, I'm gonna fucking murder people. I think that's the point of him being in that movie. Yeah, but, so, like, so it actually, people that don't understand, we're talking about a movie that, like, talks about serial killers that... The media portrays in a positive light. There's also the police officer that hunts him down. Yeah, but like that actually is a real thing in for like sure. the CIA profiling People, and said picks for like certain uh, like, hey, your family lineage actually proves that you're probably pretty good at this shit. So we're gonna hire you to be part of our profiling team. Yeah. And now you're going to help us find these other fuckers so, who are like the random ones that this pop This is up. acknowledged. They acknowledge this on the show. Yeah. Okay, so what, what I'm proposing now is what if there's like family genetics that are like really good for engineering and oh, no, I technical think, skills? I do are believe those that's people a thing. not recruited for Area 51? Yeah, they probably. D- well, yeah. I'm asking I, Chase at I this point. I think there's a lot of the shit that goes on. What, the psycho killers? No, I'm talking about because. The psycho killers or the people that like can hunt psycho killers get recruited to work for the FBI. Mm. Do you think the people that are really good at engineering and figuring stuff out get recruited to work on UFOs? <laughs> Maybe. Well, what do you think? Why would like, they? Yeah. What do you think the crazy Harvard's people? all about and shit? Like, look how many families have gone the, through there, and like the ones that flush out and the ones that are actually good and stuff. Like, I think that's definitely part of like it. Like they block it out when they go in. No, they just understand it more because they're like, fuck, I have an IQ of 147 just naturally. Uh, fuck you guys. Yeah. Some people just like s- comprehend things differently, you know, can work out a situation, put themselves in the moment, you know, whenever the murder happened or whatever, and figure out who the killer is. Or some people are like, you know, like this just, I type on the computer and it's way more easy for me to do computer shit than for you, so naturally I'm getting recruited and it turns out like if I have a kid and I'm really computer literate maybe the first one doesn't know computer shit but the second one is like a fucking whiz at it yep. naturally and I just showed him like five things and he picked it up like at age seven and so obviously he's going to go somewhere and like because I'm connected I'm going to teach him like meet him like or introduce him to people who are also connected and blah 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 now all of a sudden he's in area 51 doing the new route to run <laughs> you guys got that right yeah yeah, uh, yeah. d was talking God. about it um i ran over here like that fuck, now i forgot what I was gonna okay so let's get fucking into that ass. God that damn could it, be fun how that. many fucking people do you think are gonna get shot uh in, at, is it september is it september it's when they're september, all meeting yeah. there i don't think so it's gonna happen the original facebook message was a joke group are you going no, no. I'm gonna guess like eight. There's gonna be eight diehard dumb motherfuckers who go get shot. 
Yeah, no, I, I'm in at least eight. Honestly, if eight idiots get shot, Wait, we're going, ain't we? Well, yeah, obviously I'm going. Yeah, but trash I'm just talk has signed How up. About we just trash say, talk has signed up. Yeah, sure. we are going. We support anyone that goes to Area 51. Yeah, I definitely like. I we want to know. I'm telling you, the go check it out. out there, Chase. However, you're gonna get shot, and it's, it's just gonna happen. Not only are you going to get shot, you're not going to get your drone back. You're going to be out like a grand. Yeah. They're going to be able to, like, trace the frequency of your controller and, like, Pinpoint probably, you. probably like, shock you instantly. You know, just, like, freeze you. You're stuck. I don't know. I believe that no, the government the, um, probably has a lot of high the laser technology. Thing. They definitely, yeah, you, you, of course you'd go to lasers. But no, no, they, have, they, they have that. EMPs. It's a thing. I know they do have it. They do have the death ray. It's floating above us. It, it's been It's just proven. not on a Death Star, you know. It's not on a Death Star, but it's been proven that they have, like, you know, drones that can fly by and, like, oh, we want to melt your engine block. We did it. There's yeah. videos proven they can do this shit. Exactly. Have you ever heard of the movie Gas Hole? No. Yeah. It's all about how, like, back in the 50s, they could make cars that would go, like, 500 miles an hour, or per gallon. Yeah. Per gallon. Yep. 500. And, like, they reached, like, a million in the 70s or something. And it's like, What? We yeah. still have cars that can barely do 30 miles a gallon. Yep, yep. How many? Are there? Dude, in, in the 50s, for sure, they got cars well, that was, up to uh, 150 like miles Tesla per technology what? that got bought up. Uh, no, they were using just the, they used like the vapor Hy- of gas. Hydrogen what the fuck are these cars? There's yeah. also the water car. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so this is a big I'd conspiracy. fill up once every three big, months. Big, big conspiracy that this is, and it's been going around for a long time. And obviously, think about the way, like, computers have advanced. You know, it's exponentially gotten better and better and better. Think about the gasoline engine. Why has it not gotten better and better and better? Because you can make money off that shit, motherfucker. Because they want your fucking money. Because if it got What about the electric car? How many... How does that work? Where do you see an electric car? I mean, people I've seen have them. a few them. Teslas around Omaha lately. Yeah, but they also had electric cars back in the 80s. But when do you have to charge them? How long can you drive? You still have to use the like the grid. Well, see, here's the thing. What happens when you actually use a toroidal field and you have a self-contained engine that actually like generates more power than it takes to turn on? And like for those who of you don't know what a toroidal field is, look that shit up. Look up zero point technologies. There are a ton of things that are basically are loosely based on like Tesla patent or patents. And then other new experimental things using magnetism, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But a toroidal field is a self-contained magnetic like field that basically generates its own energy. It's it's out there. It's pretty easy to find. Zero blah, point blah, blah. gravity. Zero energy. point technology. It, it's been yeah. called a lot of things, and there's been many people that have claimed to have discovered it. Yes, but and it never goes those, anywhere. Well, a lot of those labs end up being burned or destroyed, and then those scientists ends up disappearing. Or the fucking so, guy who did it in his garage, where he's just like, ah, I had it in my garage, and then all of a sudden, uh, my garage is trashed, and I'm no longer there, dash, anywhere. Uh, I must have been a suicide, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's all I'm saying, is whether we're talking about zero-point energy or just getting our fucking gas vehicles to like go a month without getting gas well, look at a hybrid. is impossible. Yeah, yeah they, they should have figured that out a long time ago. They well, they have, did. They did. They have. They that's have. what I'm talking about. They have, and they don't want us to know. And I think that's one of like the biggest things that like the American public knows that, you know? So that that's right. Do, do, do most people understand that? Does that bring us this to the like aliens? Those, in no, this isn't even aliens. This no. is just this humans. Is just, got this is just smart government. Then, government keeping technologies. Well, they're hiding Patent. shit. Yes, just like See, aliens. Is it even government or is the car or corporatocracy? Because like there are certain people in the government well, that this, I do believe are actually trying to be good people. Yeah. However, I do believe there are people in charge who are like Dude, shadow I fucking government. like own Exxon. And I don't want to fucking lose any money. And I don't want you to have any freedom because I kind of like the control thing. It's like slapping my dick on your face. I love this shit. Yeah, so I'm just going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. And you know what? I bought everyone. I bought you now. Yeah. You know? Or your vote doesn't count because I've bought everyone. And if you actually want to resist me, guess what? I have way high-powered lawyers and a hit squad. What the fuck yeah. are you going to do so, about it? So that's why I don't understand them. because the American public has to realize... 
that technology has been withheld. Oh, from. yes. Even if, I'm not talking about an alien technology. Just talking about combustible engine. Like, why aren't just, yeah, com- electric cars. Why don't we have electric cars? Or why does it cost so much to get a hybrid? Like, or just a new if vehicle If you actually in want to change the environment and you want to have a good future where everyone is, like, happily self-sustained and not, like, in a destitute state, like, this technology that we have, hybrids are, like, the shittiest example I can give. Like, oh, yeah, you get a little tax solar incentive. Solar panels. But, like, or solar panels or whatever. Why is it such an effort to get them? Why does it cost you so much? Why, if you actually, like, hook up a, uh, a windmill and have solar panels to the point where you're generating your own energy, you still have to hook up to the city grid and you have to pay them to have your technology. Mm-hmm. You have that set up. You've done it. You're fucking self-sustained. And for some reason, you are either, like, taxed out the ass... Or then they find a whole bunch of fees and or fines or, like, property things that are like, oh, that's not up to code. And then they fuck you over and take it away. Or make you pay in. Like, you could actually sell your energy back to the city, but they won't let you do that. Unless you're like... I think you kind of have to. Well, there's... I don't know exactly how it works. But anyway. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of bullshit with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's different per state. I do believe... Where do you think that $200 million were going to come from for paving the new roads? Oh, my fucking taxes, obviously. Exactly. Property, wheel, fucking sales, just everything is going to be taxed. I I think the only way that uh, this technology, like the future stuff is actually going to work, and as fucked up as this sounds, is that there's going to be a mass kill-off. Because there's going to be a... No, ho- it's a revolution. You can't call it a kill-off. <laughs> okay, off. call it a revolution, but there's going to be a mass kill-off. And to be fair, there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers who don't care about any of this stuff. And so why should they reap the benefits of like, no, no, I actually want to be solar-powered. I want to be this. And they're just like, I'm going to fucking smoke meth and make fucking eight babies. So, ah. And then, like, these are the people that are going to inherit free shit. What about fuck Sonny? Oh, fuck Sonny. Aww. Not fuck Sonny, but Sonny's fine. No, he should Where is Sonny going to live car. in the new revolution Sonny world? is going to be walking around doing crazy shit and like, eh, I've always been living for free because I'm fucking homeless. Because I live in the trees. I'm going to hit him. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with my car. <laughs> or maybe... During so- the revolution? Yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately, <laughs> no, what's going to happen home. there is that we're going to get <laughs> killed off because there's a lot better technology that they have than we do. Now, there'll be like a polar fucking switch and everyone dies or the aliens will come down like oh you finally decided it'll be catastrophic after the area 51 raid then everybody's gonna know that there is aliens yeah for sure the the aliens aliens will come come. here's the problem you get into area 51 and now you met some aliens how are you getting out you're not you're gonna die yeah the aliens let you out or do they just like fucking take over your brain and like do alien shit to you yeah, they, they escape out your body. See, and that's problematic, right? Because now, like, the lizard people are definitely in control. So what do these aliens look like? Fuck, you know? I don't know, man. I just love these, like, I... <laughs> as a hobby, like, like aliens? for what do you fun... Think, what do you think aliens look like? I don't like think too? they look like... I think they look like us. Do you believe in aliens? I'm, I, I think there's... Uh... Aliens that are in human form is what I'm saying. Okay, okay. The, the, the Nordic, Arcturians, you know, whatever. <laughs> Not the Pleiadians. Uh, Pleiadians are kind of close, but they can be human form. No, I mean I don't think they look like aliens. You know, well, like the, the big grays, fucking eyes. The gray. and, Not the grays. Yeah, grays. Yeah. Or like the reptiles. No, I think the grays are the um, kind of like the interdimensional beings. Men in black shit. They walk around in human skin. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. I don't know. No, yeah, they know. definitely do. Now, Even I... the ones that look like humans probably just look like that because they're walking around in skins. Yeah. One of my favorite Are they aliens or are they interdimensional? I, okay, so here's the thing. Are you? I really well, actually <laughs> like... No, I okay, so I, I, I joke about aliens and like all that <laughs> shit because like YouTube is fucking great. It's really fun to like just like, I'm going to drink some beers and like find out what kind of crazy shit people are talking about. Flat Earth? Fuck it, I'll read that. But, like, I, as far as interdimensional things go, I actually do believe in interdimensional beings. Simply you because... You have to. Yeah, well, throughout human history, we have, like, talk, like stories of angels and demons or spirits or all that stuff. 
So we're just going to use like world, man. angels and demons because most of our audience is probably white American Christians. It's the easiest fucking thing for you guys to hear. Angels and demons, right? So angels always are talked about descending from heaven, right? They're descending, they come and talk to you, or a spirit, like the devils are coming up from like the underworld and like inhabiting hosts. So if you talk about like interdimensional things or like planet or uh, Listen yeah, to this interdimensions. Chase. Listen, I, I am so, listening. <laughs> interdimensionally, <laughs> scaring me. <laughs> uh, as far as like weird, like uh, what is the type of science? But either way, as physics. far as physics, so uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. So frequencies: human eyes perceive light at a certain frequency, sound at a certain frequency, blah 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 blah. So if you were to raise your frequency of your consciousness, maybe you would ascend a little bit into the higher dimensions. So that is where, like, the higher angels or gods, people, whatever the fuck they are, are. So when you have, like, stories of angels descending, maybe they've actually, like, lowered their frequency and you've hired yours enough to a point where, like, you are actually perceiving them. So then you get into the demonic shit where, like, you've gotten to negative emotions, which are the lower frequencies, and you go lower and lower, and all of a sudden all these, like, fucking lower things are coming up and, like, perceiving into there. So you have, like the interdimensional thing that like it, it kind of explains like oh yeah i went up to heaven i ascended my energy was a higher vibration yeah. and i saw all this good shit there are things we cannot perceive okay because yeah. you cannot see x-rays but x-rays exist there are animals that can see x-rays but we can't see them there are other like, dimensions. A hummingbird probably sees like a million different things than we ever oh uh, it's like the some sort of fucking bug can see like manta shrimp can see like a hundred fucking electromagnetic waves yeah so everything we, that, we, like, we have like this narrow band that like, we can see that here's shit's... like x-ray and infrared and stuff yeah. here's the shrimp but like the universe is like never ending there are dimensions and shit that we cannot see yeah. i know this is above your fucking oh, intellectual crazy. right now well like but... yeah it's light light is going boop 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 but like, yeah, a uh, <laughs> fucking bird is like, it's going, wah, 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 wah. so they see a whole bunch more shit, right? Yeah. But like, so if you were, and here's an example, let's take some DMT and find out what happens. <laughs> mm. For those of you who have never tried DMT, it's a fucking experience. Either way, uh, tryptamine. Yeah. So, uh, basically you take the Amazon version of peyote, you have what's called <clears throat> ayahuasca. ayahuasca. So ayahuasca is, uh, it's DMT mixed with an MAO inhibitor because your body can't, like, process uh, DMT without an MAO inhibitor because it just goes too quick unless you smoke it or inject it and fucking that. It's a terrible idea. Anyways, so you're all of a sudden, like, raising your consciousness or your perception to a different state. Now, at this state, you are no longer, like, just, like, walking around going to fucking Starbucks. All of a sudden, you're seeing, like, the energy that is actually made up the Starbucks. Like, you can see the uh, the blocks on the sidewalk that are whatever thing it is. This table that I'm fucking smacking is atoms at a frequency that have been arranged into this table. And I am also atoms arranged into this human form. However, I'm conscious. So, when you take this stuff, all of a sudden, like... I'd freak out. You don't even have, like, <laughs> perception of, like, oh, this is my table. What is a This table? is my body. This is a... Yeah. You have, like, you're in the, like, I fucking see all these frequencies. What the fuck is this? And then, boom, a couple minutes later, or, like, hours later, if you did ayahuasca, you come back down to your body and, like, have to, like, digest this. And that that actually is probably a reason why a lot of this stuff is illegal because then you like you take out and you're like normal like oh, I gotta go to my job and like fucking pay bills, dude. There's way more going on than my fucking rent, and here I am just fucking jerking off and paying rent to someone who probably knows some of this shit because they're interdimensional beings and they fucking put me into a slave system. Hooray, America! <laughs> <laughs> I. I, I <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Oh, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Uh, fun. So, fun fact, I used to go to a bunch of sun dances with Lakota Sioux, and without drugs during ceremonies, like, you're full-on sober, they sweat you out for four days in sun, or sweat lodges, and all that, so during the sweat, or sun dance, they build this thing called an arbor, it takes, like, during the four days of purification, you set this whole thing up, uh, they cut a tree down, put it in the center of the thing that, like, 
holy circle they make and the tree in the center is actually like the center of the universe it's a representation but like imagination is a big thing as far as like human consciousness goes it's a dot in a circle no it's a tree right the but tree if you look at it from above it'd yeah, be a dot, dot in a circle wow and so anyways uh during the third day they have this thing that is called the piercing round so they literally like they poke holes in their chest stick spikes through it and attach like ropes to this tree and pull free it's weird shit However, the whole time that they're doing this, there's uh, like patterns that they're dancing on the ground. Like they're just moving around, doing all these patterns, but like it's a dance, blah, 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 blah. However, if you get into uh, like just as above, so below, like weird magic shit, we'll just leave Alistair Crawley out of this. But <laughs> Please do. Anyways, so as above, so below. So they have formed their own version of the center of the universe and like their own consciousness or consciousness manifestation. So while they're doing these things, they've made their patterns, right? And I shit you not, on the night of the third day, like one of the Sundances that I went to, I was up fire tending, uh, which fires can't go out during the Sundance, so you got to actually like be there, put stones in the fire so that the sweat lodge, you can put the stones in the sweat lodge, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, long story short, during the third night, I looked up, it's the middle of the fucking night, and 12 lights appeared like 12 just fucking big dots of light way the fuck up not like not just like above like way the fuck above like star system shit so these 12 lights formed and then other lights started moving around like there was blue lights there was red lights and they were making weird fucking geometric patterns in the fucking sky no this is not a joke i was stone cold sober like no drugs no alcohol i was like they sweated everything out for four days there's no toxins left in me so they all these things are happening and i like i was 19 i was like what the fuck is this and naturally the shaman dude who uh coincidentally enough uh chief golden eagle he used to be chief standing elk if you want to look that shit up anyways he was like oh those are the star brothers the fuck is that yeah anyways his explanation is is, uh what we have done on the earth they are mimicking up in the skies and, like, that gets into the whole dimensional shifting. Like, is it, like, interdimensional? Is it alien? Fuck, I don't even know. Like, it was way too much for my puny human brain to understand. Either way, like, I have witnessed that. Like, real life. And, as I said, no drugs, no alcohol. Like, this is just shit I saw. So, I have a very hard time just, like, talking... Wait, were you not drinking or eating for these days? No, no. Gotta... Uh, so, I wasn't one of the sun dancers. So I was on the sidelines just fire tending for the uh, public one. So there are the the actual sun dancers who are dancing in the arbor, don't eat and drink for four days. However, everyone else participating in the sun dance does get to eat and drink. I was normal. I was fucking eating food, hanging out, drinking coffee, smoking some cigarettes. Middle of the night, that shit happened. And yeah, there's like, there's other weird stories from the other times I went and saw other weird things. So but what like, do the sun dancers see? More is it more intense for them or what? Fuck, probably. It's like a vision quest, man. Fucking like, vision quest. Man. I don't even know what they saw, but like most of them were probably asleep at that time because like it was the middle of the night. But yeah, there's there's weird shit out there that like, I just think uh, our Eurocentric thing that we're like, nope, we go to church and we do this and that's it. But like, there's there's definitely more in other cultures that should be explored. Mm-hmm. And seeing that shit, like, I don't know where to put it. As far as, like, I was raised Christian as fuck. I rebelled a lot. I did drugs. I've literally, like, you know, like, walked us out of my body one time. Like, I, like, took a whole bunch, was laying on the couch, stepped up, walked around, saw a whole bunch of weird shit. <laughs> there's, there's a longer story, but we're, like, we're abbreviating it. But it's probably that stuff that I did at, like, 16 that they're, like... You know, I went to Wayne, and then, like, someone was like, hey, you really need to go to Sweat Lodge, because you're kind of fucked. And then, like, after the Sweat Lodge, they're like, ah, you're probably into this shit. You want to go to Sundance? Yeah, cool, I'll check it out. And then those kind of things. Do they still do that? Yeah. We should go check there's that out. There's multiple Sweat Lodges. Oh, there's or, multiple Sweat, sweat Lodges, lodges multiple, multiple Sundances. Sundances. Uh, if you actually want to check... It's not really, like, a touristy thing. Yeah, yeah, it's not... You gotta be part of the group. You spend the week weekend there. You spend like a fucking. I spent three weeks there the one time, and at, then the at rest once. Of, yeah, like when I was still Man, nineteen. Man, how do you come back from that? Well, because if you're doing it correctly, which I've skipped, 
the first four days, like I guess it's not a full three weeks, but the first four days are your purification. So that's when you're like, you're sweating out every night, eating good yeah. food, like helping build the arbor, praying, all that stuff. And then there's the four days of ceremony. So the four days of ceremony are supposed to represent like, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, blah, 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 blah. You go through all that. And it's, it's hard to describe how that goes. However, after the end of the ceremony, you're supposed to stick around for another couple of days just to help come down so you yeah. can go back into normal society. Because like, if you... If you're part of that ceremony and you're like your vibrational state is raising and you get like really fucking high because of all the like weird ceremony stuff that goes on and then like, okay, ceremony's over. So you lower a little bit. You probably shouldn't leave at that state. You're like take another two days to at least like go through some more lodges, eat some like grounding food, like talk about what the fuck you saw actually like come down to a normal human level so that when you go back to like, I got to go back to work. Like, it's fucking difficult. You think you'd, you'd be fucked up? I don't, I mean, it was. For the rest of your life if you didn't fucking. I don't think you're fucked up for the rest of the life. You, I mean, if you left. If you didn't do it. During. No. But, like, uh, your so highness. the one of them, I. Uh, you were super high and you left. Yeah, but, like, that's the thing. You're not, like, tripping. You're not on drugs. You're not, like, but yeah, I mean, high yeah, like on you're... something. You're just at an elevated state. And then you, like, come back to, like, like, say, you come back to Omaha. All of a sudden, you're back in Omaha, and there's all these, like, there's traffic. There's all these, like, lights. There's a whole bunch of electromagnetic frequency. There's all these people, like, drinking and doing all their weird stuff and all these other thought processes and all this other shit that, like, is kind of existing in that higher state but, like, is unconscious. So, like, you come into, like, oh, I was really calm and I was in this great thing, and then, like, all of a sudden, ah, fuck, I've met everybody and, like, all their perceptions, and now, like, you got to, like, kind of, ah, Bring it back down to a point where you can actually show up to your job and like, yeah, I want to fucking serve you food. Cool, dude. Jeez. Now, it, would it's you ever do, weird. Would you ever do a vision quest? Like what he did? That wasn't a vision quest. That was just going no, to... A, a vision quest is just like going out into the wilderness for like days and fasting. <sighs> to be fair, I mean, vision quest is a lot more than there's, that. There's a lot more to that, in, but I'm just saying like... What? I'm just trying to ask if Chase would... Would you like fast... And, like, just go out to, like, meditate and not like, do drugs. Wait for nature to. No, there's no drugs. Yeah. Vision Quest is totally sober. So you just don't. You just go eat. out in the wilderness okay. and fast. Traditionally, and how the Vision Quest would work, as far as I know it, because I never went on one. And keep in mind, like, I am not Lakota. I'm white as fuck. I got invited to some cool shit. So do not hate me and do not judge me upon, like, my own weird perception of it. But uh, the Vision Quest, as far as I was told, like, how I would do it if I were to go there. Is first you have to like be cool with your shaman guy, which in this case was Golden Eagle, aka Standing Elk, a while ago. But you'd uh, you basically you need to find a few certain things like the turtle shell, a uh, eagle feather, a blanket, all these things. But you would offer them as gifts to said shaman who's already gone and done all this crazy shit, so that he'll like, oh, you're actually committed. You want to do this? So then they take you into a sweat lodge for like a day or two or whatever, and like you know you eat and purify and get ready for it. And then what they do is that blanket that you'd offer is they essentially, like, you have to strip down and they wrap you in this blanket and cover you so you're blind. And then they take you, or, like, traditionally, they'd probably ride horses or whatever and walk you out to the middle of fucking nowhere and set you on a hill. And you'd also have to have built, like, prayer ties for north, south, east, west and, like, make a sacred arbor that way, which is basically the medicine wheel, which is, like, the medicine wheel is a circle with a cross through it but like, represents, like, no, it's southeast, west, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Anyways, so then as soon as all that is set up, you're set in the center of there, and they all leave, and you are miles away from everyone, and you have to stay within that circle and pray the whole With time. With your blanket. With your blanket. That's what you got. Still blindfolded? No, no, you can, like, you're, you know, you got your blanket. That's you can it. explore your surroundings, I think. No, inside that fucking circle. You can't leave the circle? No, you can't leave the circle, because other shit, like, that's your protection. How long? Four days. Holy shit. Or until you have a vision. I don't know if I can sit in a circle for four days. Well, no, but yeah, that's the thing. It's a test of like patience. It's a test of like dedication. It's a test of will. It's all that. And then eventually, like, like, I mean, it's probably part dehydration, like, you know, like madness, whatever. But like, then you're like, you hopefully would get a vision. And that, like, should guide you of like, oh, this is the kind of stuff I need to focus on. You either get a vision or die. You probably won't die. They'll come get you before you're going to, like, starve or drown, like, dehydrate. I don't know. No, they come get you. Like, you're, you're, they're going to come get you. Yeah. Can you sleep? Yeah. 
you just can't get out of the circle. Yeah, because that like so meditate for four fuck. days. Okay, how do I put this? I don't know how to meditate, but you I guess if you're sit, sitting there, well, you sit there to be fair, mind. you're obviously not going to get involved into this shit unless you know how to meditate and have already practiced a little bit of shamanism and met these people who will take you to do these things. You're not just going to be like, hey, guess what? It's Tuesday. I've decided to go do some weird shit. I'm on a vision quest this week. Yeah, you, you like it's it's an actual thing you well, have to be dedicated to I, and you I, actually I, have to do. But res- I was just asking hypothetically if Chase would do one. Gotcha. Would you do one? Would you do one? Maybe. I mean, if it would clear my mind and I thought you just had to go out into the wilderness I didn't know you had to sit in a circle well to do it like, I think there's a lot of different as, types there's probably different types as I don't know about for four one. days Jesus well okay so like fuck the four day thing well, you, can you not let's go Facebook check out days? how the uh, the people from Australia would do it like you know fucking Crocodile Dundee went and did his Aborigines. walk around Aboriginals right? well yeah I'm just bringing Crocodile Dundee because it's the easy thing yeah or Aboriginals so Crocodile Dundee in the movie, talked about how he went on a walk around. That's the same thing. Like, you've let go of your, like, your personal connections, your family connections, like, your societal blanket, all the things that, like, naturally keep you safe. And you're going out into the wilderness and seeing if you can survive nature and what God will bring you. Or if you, like, you know, if you don't believe in God, whatever the fuck you call it. But anyways, so the walk around is, like, a way to get to know your area, get to know your surroundings, get to know what nature brings... And at a certain point, you're probably going to run out of food and water, and you're going to get to a little bit of that madness state. But at that madness state, is it actual madness, or are you actually just, like, switching frequencies to, like, see the uh, the other side of reality? Fucking spirit world, man. I'm in the fucking spirit world. They can't see us. Did yeah. you see that giant chicken? <laughs> the uh... a butterfly. <clears throat> No, I uh, I really do believe there is a whole bunch, uh, as far as human psychology, uh, psychedelic uses, and all that, that, like, it changes human's perception, and that's where, like, a lot of our religious ideology comes from. Like, there's even a really good, uh, like, I forget which guy wrote it, but he's, a, like, a Hasidic Jew who gets into the, uh, the story of, like, Moses, where he talked to the burning bush. So, the Hasidic Jew actually... We've talked about this before. I don't know if we... Have we talked about it on this? Maybe not you here but i've talked about how moses seeing the I, burning bush yeah. was some sort of DMT. it was an ayakasha bush yeah it was a bush DMT tree that they know is highly potent in dmt yeah and is in the region that Mo- and it's probably a mistranslation of seeing a burning bush was essentially he was smoking the, the bush fucking dmt yeah but either way so fuck. then he like elevated his consciousness to where these interdimensional beings are and like a certain entity aka god was like dude you need to get your people to stop fucking each other over because that's really lame and that's like the nicest version to put it that's really fucking simplified but like yeah i really do believe that like all a whole bunch of religious ceremonies and a lot of things like that actually do elevate you actually do get you into touch with a different side of either your consciousness or to interdimensional beings or like what god would actually be because I do believe in God, I just also believe there's a scientific explanation of, like, um, ah, fuck, what's the best way to put it? Um, intelligent design on our planet, and there are ways to access it. However, if you, like, there's meditation, there's drum ceremonies, like, Buddha was sitting there, like, meditating, doing his thing, Gandhi was like, ah, I'm pretty close to this shit, because I fasted for forever. But it's like, it's as soon as you lose, like, lose self or ego... Or whatever your perception of how you actually like, I am this, this is me, ha. And then you go out there and like you can do a ceremony where like, fuck, I am not as powerful or strong as I thought you are. Or you're like, I ate a shit ton of mushrooms. Fuck, what do I what do I actually represent in the world? Now I have to actually like witness myself and that breakdown of ego is how you like kind of ascend and see what like the greater consciousness would want you to be. And so that gets into, like, cosmic consciousness, which, like, if you take every human on the planet, there is, uh, and, like, scientific proof or anecdotal proof to those who don't like this shit, that uh, all humans are connected, which gets into this, like, whole concept of mass consciousness. And that is a whole fucking trip, because there's um, a very good example of mass consciousness uh, in Australia, right? They got this picture, had a whole bunch of hidden faces in it. 
in England, same picture, whole bunch of hidden faces in it. In America, a whole bunch of pictures, like it's the same picture with a whole bunch of faces hidden in it. So they had everybody like see how many like faces they could see in said picture. So in Britain, they decided to actually like, okay, so everybody put in their answers. And then like in Britain, they actually gave everybody the answer. And then they tested Australia and America again. And all of a sudden, because in Britain, they saw the answers. All of a sudden, the American stats and the Australian stats raised dramatically to the point where they're like, oh, yeah, we saw all the fucking faces. But that wouldn't have happened had they not shown that to, like, the Britons. So there's a whole thing where, like, all human consciousness is actually connected, which gets into this weird concept of noetic science and, like, I don't know, frequency information and all that. And anyways, we're getting on a really fucking yeah, weird rabbit. I was, I was going to say, Dan, let's not go too far down yeah, the rabbit hole. Yeah, I can go down I the rabbit hole. I haven't said anything in 15 minutes. Sorry. And I didn't know. I'm glad I didn't. No, I, I can go down the rabbit <laughs> hole to like way too like crazy things, but keep in mind, I'm also like partially crazy. So. Oh, the listeners know. Yeah, the yeah. listeners oh, know. Yeah, but at the same time, like, but they love uh, it. If you if you haven't played around with it, like, fuck, what are you talking about? Like, oh, did you watch Game of Thrones this week? And that's a big fucking exciting thing. <laughs> Sorry, that's me jacking off on your face. Yeah, thank, like thanks, I think Dan. there's there's more going on, Too and life. we're like we're finally like getting to a point where uh, lots of people are talking about this. The internet is a great thing because it's actually bringing people together to like, I don't know, express views. However, we're also at a point where there's a whole bunch of repression. We're like, oh, no, no, no. Like, you're talking about stuff I don't want to hear. And so I just am going to follow Trump into the fucking neo-Nazi world. And we're going to have a great time. Uh. Well, Dan, that's why we love having you on the podcast. <laughs> is because you do share these great bits of information that hopefully our listeners have never heard before. Oh, you know? Yeah, maybe. I would think so. Not everyone is like as in tune as you are, you know? Sometimes you just rattle through this shit, and Chase is still thinking about interdimensional demons. <laughs> I'm, yeah, it's sorry. Freaks yeah. You, out. you know, so that's uh, all I'm saying. Like, I'm following you. Maybe one other listener is out there following to you. To be fair, but... I do talk very quickly when I get into it because I'm like, oh, this hey, is exciting yeah. to me. That's yeah, fine. Well, a lot of but... people like to listen to this. Yeah, exactly. Better than ASMR, right? Well, well, why don't, why I don't think you, like, ASMR would probably be more calm. Think a little intellectually, though. Don't just like sit back Should and relax. I went live. You know, I'll figure it out someday. And people will be like, what the fuck? This guy's crazy. Uh, how many drugs has he done? Yeah, well, <laughs> well plenty. We'll, but. Be, we'll be live <laughs> and we can go back into these topics. Like, I like there's like things we always talk about. And DMT is one of those things that just always pops up. People want to talk about it, so, man. Can, can we go to Colorado and just go out in the mountains for three days and do our is, own thing? Not really. Can yeah. have do- you could make it work. But at the same time, like, you'll probably know where your, like, your mm. safety net is, and that's the thing you have to take away from yourself. You have to truly lose yourself. Yeah, like, if you were like, I can't That's fear. the one thing I know about yeah. Vision Quest. Like, if you know where your base camp is, and, like, if you get, like, to a point where, like, I'm fucking freaking out, I'm going to go back to, like, I'm where really the base hungry. camp is. I'm going to go drink a Gatorade. You, you can't have that. It's that safety net that you have to cut. Like, that's your, like, that's your connection. That's all that. You have to be rid of that to, like, fully, like embrace the nothingness or whatever like you know moses going up on the fucking mountain for x yeah. amount of days you can't just leave the circle and go get a cliff bar yeah you know yeah. it's not that easy you're if you live a circle you're like lost yeah i mean if we did that by ourselves it, it, you might fall off a mountain let's, yeah, let's we be need, honest we need a shaman you need yeah you need someone the to person come get who's you. like this is where you're gonna be this is what you're gonna do and when you come back we're gonna talk about all that because like you might have some weird visions you get, and you don't know what the fuck they mean, so you need to, like, translate the symbolism. Yeah, kind of like that's true. Dream journals or some shit. Yeah. What about peyote in the desert? Fuck, I would love to do that. <laughs> oh, my God, I would love to do that. We can do that, Chase. Dude, if you can find <laughs> peyote, I will go to the desert. Well, we gotta go to the desert you. to find it, essentially. Yeah. You just walk in the desert, find peyote, and then walk more. I think that might be like get lost the out there. San Pedro yeah. cactus Fuck. might be easier. Sandpaper cactus? San Pedro. Oh. It's still mescaline and that's what peyote produces. But like the peyote grows really slow. See, if you if you like ate a peyote a peyote button that was enough to trip, it's like 60 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, but oh, do you get you got like 10 more minutes for a weird story? Yep. Okay. So, 
Carlos Castaneda wrote a whole bunch of books on uh This is Yaki why we need shamanism. to have Co- Cody on. Yes. This is the lead into oh, Carlos Cody. Castaneda. Yeah, Cody loves Carlos so Castaneda. So lead us into Cody. This is, a little, this is a little tease for when you bring Cody back. Well, he was into Dream Journals and Carlos Castaneda, et cetera, et cetera. However, this story goes into somebody telling me about like how Carlos Castaneda kind of fucked up Mescalito. So, mescaline is the, uh, the active chemical in the San Pedro cactus. So, if you get into Carlos Castaneda's teachings, he goes and trains with Yaqui shamans. So, Yaqui shamans actually call the spirit that inhabits the, uh, the uh, peyote plant or the San Pedro mescalito. Hence where mescaline came from. So anyways, there's a whole bunch of things where basically the guy who was like telling everybody like all these hippies during the 60s to go eat mescaline so you can like experience enlightenment and stuff. And the shamans were essentially like, no, every time you take this, you are actually weakening the spirit of mescalito because you don't actually need to like trip your balls out to like experience the uh, like enlightenment that can come from this. Hmm. You can actually just like take a little bit, meditate and like do the proper ceremonies and experience all that. And so I met a guy who basically, uh, the Carlos Castaneda books, there's like seven or nine Yaki shamans that Carlos Castaneda actually trained under. And then he uh, like basically created the character Don Juan. Mm. So said guy from the Sundance uh, was going and trained under a guy named Kachora. So Kachora was actually one of the original shaman teaching Carlos Castaneda. And he's the one who explained all this to me of why I shouldn't just go eat mescaline in the desert. Because he's like, it's not as effective as it used to be. And if you're going to do it, you should do it properly with respect for the plant and everything. And that's the same thing. There's like a story going around how like mushrooms are not as effective as they used to be. Like you can eat a gobble, gobble them down. But the fact of the matter is, is like they're being abused just as a recreational thing. Same with like weed. Like, you can smoke weed all day, but it's not, like, doing much anymore as far as, like, consciousness raising because everyone's just like, eh, I'm getting fucked up. Everyone's and, on that level. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, is that the level that you're supposed to be on, or should you actually respect the uh, the idea behind it? Should you respect, the like, the different perspective that's coming in? And he was basically trying to explain why I shouldn't do hallucinogens to the way that most, like, people are. Hmm. Because the... Uh, just have a good time. Well, yeah, just to have a good time. Like, if you're going to smoke DMT, do you want to, like, actually, like, burn some sage and, like, you know, meditate and pray and whatever? Or do you just want to go talk to some guy with dreadlocks who's like, I got some, fucking put it in your bowl, dude. Like, you're not going to get anything out of that. You might get, like, a different, like, experience, but you're not going to get, like, uh, like, a spiritual thing from it. You should go into, like, any hallucinogen with, like, a respect for, like, what's happening. Like, the mescaline. Mescalito is the spirit. Uh, fucking psilocybin, well, whatever weird what shit that ayahuasca is. Ayahuasca is, I think, a little yeah. bit more. You definitely have to respect ayahuasca. Oh yeah, you know. Can't so get there's it any other way. there's a whole thing with that, but yeah, basically the hmm. weird thing is like, oh, so there's a guy Carlos Castaneda. We met these guys. Kachor actually trained Jarrett, the one of the guys at the Sundance, and he's like, hey, you probably should not fuck around with it. You should do it proper. Hmm. So and then an, any proper shaman should tell you. Probably. Yeah. And I do actually believe in that. So if anyone's out there listening like, yeah, dude, I looked up on YouTube how to make DMT. So did I. Don't do it. And just just find a better way to do that shit. Yeah, exactly. Pay some money and go to Mexico. Yeah. Or South America. <laughs> yeah, wherever it's at. Um, Chase, final thoughts. Um, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> Everything you said. It's not even creepy, man. It's just a different, like, oh. I didn't even talk about well, I don't know if I'd freak that. out if I went to one of these and, like, you probably would. Kind of you you would be awake around me, and it's not that weird. I'd be, I'd be scared. Blanket? You'd be scared of the blanket. No, no, I didn't do the. Uh, well, if they took me out for four days, I'm like sitting there, like. Well, I didn't do a vision quest. I just went to sun dances. Well, the vision quest, that would be. That would freak you out, dude. If you're gonna do, a vision I'd like quest, to you do it. Ready for that, but. Like you dedicated, you want to do. I that. feel like you could do it too, because you're like you have endurance. You know, like. <clears throat> well, I'd like to. You, if you're committed do it, to it, I think it, you'd like it. It would be. A fucking experience, and it would be yeah, for really, sure. It would be it would life changing, like essentially. Intense. You know, well, it freaky. would like make you all right. Well, I'm not drinking anymore. You know, yeah. And it I'm would. sure there's other versions of it out there. So anyone who listens, if you actually like have a different version, don't hate. Everyone's got different versions of spirituality. Yeah. Don't there's be like a dick about hundreds it. Hundreds of different Native American tribes. I like to do something without doing drugs. Let's go to a powwow. That powwow's are pretty fun. That's just like you get to see powwow safe. 
Yeah, dude, they just dance around. <laughs> yeah, and, like, they're just do dancing. They'll want you to dance and you know hold like, a flower. Give you or some a feather. idea about their culture and you know. I want to go to the thing that you went to and seen the stars. It, yeah, that was a weird group. <laughs> Essentially a powwow. That's so still much. you've seen it's shit. You're like powwow. Yeah, with like specific people and stuff. Yeah, yeah for sure. All right, yeah. well, it's good trash talk tonight. Jesus. We covered a lot of ground. We went a lot of places. Indian yeah, ground. we did. Indian ground. Well, sacred ground. Sacred ground. Yeah. For sure. Namaste. Namaste, I guess. <laughs> Tatanka. <laughs> that means buffalo. Yeah. A home, a talk we all say. Buff. Buff. Uh, to all my relatives. So, yeah. To all my relatives. Oh, yeah. All right. Salute. Yeah. All right. What? Cool. Oh, well, I'm out. Geez. <laughs> well, it's been a good podcast. Sorry, I'm like sweating balls here. I think yeah, I'm. Yeah, I think I'm warm. going through a trance right well, now. That's why we're ending the podcast. It's been a solid two hours, just about. Wow. Um, Dan, thanks again for joining us. Yeah, it's always great. Come back with Cody next time. I'm gonna try. Or a lady. Well, I'm going to try yeah. that, too. Yeah, right, cool. She's texting me right now, so that's going to be fun. But. All right. Well, fuck you, Chase. Let's get some air. Fuck you, Trini. No, fuck you. <laughs>